Nothing but money on my mind She says she love me, love is blind She ride it up and down and then rewind When we fuck, it gets better every time I got two bad bitches by my side I tell my ups don't even try Anytime I lift, I let it fly Come down and put two spirits in the sky Hit your block and put some spirits on the floor Niggas know I got a lot, but I need more Nowadays, all my guap is kept offshore Stash box, I got a couple keys of raw Whoa, the weed is Arabian Burning it down like a Sabian I'm coming down to the stadium Rolling with angels and aliens There's only real ones in my radius Everyone here know my alias I'm coming down to the stadiums Rolling with angels and aliens She take it straight to the face Laughing all of the way to the bank Pardon, I take it straight to the face Pull up and parking Jump out the spaceship Step over your carcass When you look around you see killers and carnage My niggas is Martians Yeah we live and die by the stardom Even when we're in the darkness You know we stay lit regardless All of your bitches they love me All of your hatred is harmless Only the gods can judge me Yeah, Even when we're in the darkness You know we stay lit regardless All of your bitches they love me All of your hating is harmless Yo, 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 welcome back to the live stream. It's your boy Tokyo Stoner. We are back in business. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, episode 11. Let's fucking go. Fuck those guys. We're not talking to them. Let's go are chat to Dio. To yes, let's go, Dio. We're going to fuck these guys up. Let's get this money. Fantastic. Then without further ado. Scotch and cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on the arena. Because ready or not, it's time to rumble. Rumble. Let's get it on. Oh, really? I thought we would have got a longer cutscene than that. I'm not even ready. I'm like, I'm like on smoke break right now. What's going on with Cloud? <laughs> He's just like lurking on the motherfucker, you know? So I wonder if we're not really not gonna unlock Star Shower in this game. I really like that attack. One of my favorite attacks in remake. Well done. That was nothing. Oh, I thought we had cure for everyone, you know, I'm not going to lie. Excuse me, I have some... 
<laughs> Ellen of the fucked up. Who's attack is that? Is that Rama? Is, is that who's doing that? Rude or Rama? Is that Rama letting that off here? Yeah? Dance. Let's just bring the um, let's just bring the cam back in. Fuck it, let's roll. I, I was going for my, my 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 usual big start, you know, episode beginning smoke break, but I um I was I got caught off guard by how short the cutscene was. Most of the cutscenes in this game are like five hours. Wow, he fully just kicked Tifa in the chin even though he loves Tifa. Rude, that is. You know Rude's got a thing for Tifa. He didn't give a fuck though. He was like, fuck you, Tifa. Papa parried us and just like knocked her out. <laughs> what a cunt. All right, let's pull up on this fool. Tried to hit a motherfucker with the sweep. I'm trying to sweep a motherfucker, Rude. Is that what you think? I was just gonna come here and let you fucking sweep a motherfucker. Let you come and sweep a bitch. Ares and Tifa ain't getting sweet no time soon, motherfucker. Same with the rising fool. Can't we get him out of there? I really thought he would have been dead. Just set him on fire, Ares. Come on. Fuck you, rude. You guys suck. It's another fight coming. Whoa. Alright. This fight's far from over. Esteemed spectators, if you would be so kind Epic is going down, yeah. Should have had this in the game like fucking uh, like you know ten chapters ago, bro. Oh, it's Rufus. We don't even have no counter stance. Let me just adjust the camera. They're getting fired, no way. Yeah, looks a little nicer, a bit more centered. Oh, they're not really fired. He like fake fired them. Got my number this time? Let's see. Shall we? Fucking recycle. Why is Rufus here again? We we beat him in the last game, bro, for real. See if he's got any new tricks up his sleeve or is this the same old Rufus? Man, what a scam. We don't even have counter stance. Did they take counter stance out of the game or like do we just have we just not found the weapon that's that has that shit? Oh, you got a party level. I get it now. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go for um what are we doing? Material.
So I wonder what's better, barrier or the protect and the shell shit? Where is that one? Probably barrier, you know. Alright, let's just give it a go. Igneous Saber. I think that's still what we're rolling with. Yeah, Blade Burst is not unlocked yet, so we'll stick with it. Oh, we got the Hades bracelet. Let's have a look at all of that. Nah, I prefer what we've got still. Hades bracelet is sick because you get crazy slots, but fuck all of that. Let's go. Oh, so you can't parry him no more. Well, that sucks. Yeah, this is so dumb. This is this game is literally a copy and paste game. They literally just copy and pasted the first game. Like, not not the whole way through, obviously. There's a whole bunch of bullshit. Bro, do you, do you see this shit, bro? Are you fucking serious, bro? Did we not? What up, Ruthless? What up, dog? Nino Brown and this bitch. But yeah, look, man. You saw the remake Stoner Edition. We 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 beat this guy already, right? We already beat this guy at the end of a game, as like a, you know, a like a, a, a before the final boss, final boss type thing. We've already, we've already done this. Or did they really just copy and, just copy and paste the whole thing? Because the Hojo, the Hojo dungeon is copy and pasted. You got Hojo dungeon towards the end of the first game. You got Hojo dungeon towards the end of this game. Yeah, with the switches. Both of the dungeons have switches. They're both the similar design. Like, now we got the Rufus fight. It's just like, have they got a blueprint? Do they have a blueprint or something? that they use for each, that they're going to be using. I don't know, but just felt strange when Rufus came out. I was just like, right, okay, sure. We're fighting Rufus now. Whatever you say, bro. Should have put some fucking haste on the motherfucker. Also, I don't have no um, counter stance. I'm not sure if counter stance is even in this game. But I mean, it probably is, but like, I haven't found a weapon with it yet. Oh, I know, we'll just, we'll just stick to... It's mad annoying, because if you hold block, you won't swap... Um, Cloud doesn't swap stance anymore. He used to swap stance even if you were holding block, which was mad helpful. Because you could, like, hold block and swap between the two, but now you have to let go of block and... It's always a bit janky. Yeah, we're going to block. Oh, yeah, this guy, we can't parry him anymore either, I don't think. He doesn't parry the same. So we're just going to block to charge up the ATB. Oh, that's like unblockable. I was gonna limit break him, but we'll just hit him with this shit instead. Oh, well, I told Cloud to hit him with that shit, but he did a basic attack. Oh, he's doing it now. Oh, he's got a parry. So he's got a parry. How come he's got a parry and we don't have a parry, bro? What kind of shit is this? Or is it because of that I'm, I'm supposed to be using that perfect block thing mechanic? Miss counter stance though. Look at this stupid asshole. <laughs> Get fucked, Rufus. Go back to remake, bro. I'm, I, I'm, I don't even understand, bro. At this point. This is like chapter 12, man. This is the end of the game, basically. 
Oh shit, Cloud's basically dead. I better heal him up. Oh no. Like, it's easy to die when you're not like paying attention to the shit, I guess. Oh, so the rune blade like fucking shoots shots at people and shit. That's cool. Like shoots laser beams and shit. Do I not have stagger block thing? I thought I had it still. The ATB stag um not ATB stagger, steadfast block. I thought I had it equipped already. Let's definitely get the haste set up this time because I don't think I set the haste up a minute ago and that was dead. You should really be able to increase the ATB speed, you know, like in the in the men menu settings, like in the original game, just increase it, like. Oh, we ain't got no MP left, so we'll just use a Giga Potion, fuck it. Oh, they got X Potion, like in the original, that's cool. Oh, we've been sitting on this limit break for fucking ages. What the fuck am I thinking about? Let's get this shit out. I think it's because I wanted to pressure him first. But I just forgot about it. Nah, it's not the final. We've got a few more chapters to go. And yeah, yeah, we're, we're just getting to the end, bro. Going into the game, the thing I wanted to see the most was the final cutscene. Do you get what I'm saying? The, the, I wanted to see what they do when, you know when Eris, in, in, the, in the traditional game, Eris passes away. That's where Seth, you know, we're at the city of the ancients and all of that. I just wanted to get there and see the cutscene and see how the stage was and hear the music. I low-key thought we would have already done um, Temple of the Ancients, but like, yeah, here we are. So yeah, man. Yeah, and also, do you remember I said I wanted to get to the end so I could decide if I like the game or not before I like put any time into it, any real time, you know? Do we have to kill the dog first or something? Is that what they're doing? Without the counter stance, this fight is just a bit like annoying to be honest. Because there's not really like, it just doesn't have the finesse of the first fight. The first fight had all this finesse to it, like this is just a bit, just, just a bit janky. Should have just hit him with infinity's end, he probably would have died. I can't even see what I'm looking at, bro. Alright, cool. Let's heal this shit up before we die. You fucking put the potion on, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck off, Rufus. Fucking asshole. Today's studio session so, went well though, I was we happy still. Not yet. First, we find eight cents, right? Made some right. made some good progress and got into a next phase of the preparation. So I was happy about that. Ladies and gentlemen, both teams are disqualified. What? I don't think anyone could have predicted this outcome. 
Why are we disqualified? What the fuck? The fuck is you guys talking about? Crazy. Right. Okay. What a crazy finish. No one could have predicted that. I don't think anyone would have wanted to, bro, even if there was a prediction market for it. Like, do you get me? It just so you guys are aware, that was the fight to decide the name of the gold saucer. Apparently Don Corneo from Wool Market pulled up. And he wants to try and take the gold saucer from Dio. So like Dio, the Dio got fucked up by the Turks. So he had to hire us to like fight for him. So uh, yeah, that was the fight for the fate of the gold saucer. And we successfully defended the gold saucer and it gets to keep its name. Yeah, like that. We gotta find Cat Sif, huh? All right, let's go and find him. I think I just saw him running past me. Didn't he run in here? Why is he running from me? What did I miss? What? Was it in the was it in the previous stream or something? What the fuck did I miss, bro? Why is Catsif running away? I mean, I know why he is in the original. I mean, even in this, it looks like he's got the keystone. But like, when did he turn? Shit was cool. I'm not gonna, maybe I missed something. The, the last I remember, we were all fighting together in that tournament. Rufus pulls up and all the homies leave and then it's just Cloud like fighting Rufus on his ones. I don't know when or how Cat Sif stole the key thing and why he's running away. I just, I, I don't understand. But anyway, let's roll. I low key thought he wasn't gonna rob us in this one because uh, he seemed like so cool, you know? Where did he go? This little fucking bastard. It's crazy how like most of the stuff they get you to do just consists of getting you to run around the maps. Like they just want you to explore the maps. I gotta watch the end of the previous stream, bro. I'm gonna let me mute the mic for a second. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now.
We went on a date on the gondola with Catsif and everything, this piece of shit. Fucking guy. Yeah, he's literally fighting with us. Like, in the episode before this, he's with us in the tournament. Like, we're fighting together and shit. Like, we're friends. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm skipping forward to try and see, like, when he flips on us. But, like, you know me, bro. My fucking... This game might be putting me to sleep, but, like, my eyes are glued to the screen, bro. I'm here for the lore. And, like... I don't know how, like maybe they just didn't explain it. Maybe it's just not explained. And they're about to explain it or some shit, but if that's the case, this is, this is some crackhead shit, bro. Yeah, so Eleanor, so Dio's about to give us the keystone at the end of the last episode. The Turks show up and the Turks try to steal it. Okay. Okay. And then Catsif says to Rude, give me the keystone. And Rude throws the keystone to Catsif and Catsif runs away with it. Fucking snake piece of shit. And now, yeah, the homies run off chasing him. And that's when we start the boss fight. Yeah, yeah, that's when we start the boss fight with um, Rude and Eleanor. Okay, so no wonder why I'm like, kind of like, what the fuck? Because when, when Ramsey arrived, it was halfway through the fucking episode. Like, it was halfway through the event. Wow, so Cat Sif really rubs us. What a snake. You know, I really thought he wasn't going to rub us this time, you know? I thought we was homies. It's cool, Cat Sif. It's cool. He's saying he's getting his own back because we took his material from him. Well, when I got to him, he didn't even have a magnifier. All this scrub had on him was... Uh, I can't remember, but he had some trash materials on him, bro. They were garbage. And I put them in the bin. But I got a magnifier though, I got it later on. I think I like found it or someone gave it to me or like... It was in the next chapter after the one where you meet Cat Sif. I can't remember what chapter it was in but I got one now. I mean it don't make no difference though. My gear is still like level zero. <laughs> level zero gear like completely unleveled. Okay, so he does snake us, just like the original. It's nuts. Got it. It's like the same, the same way that, that, that you get the betrayal. Well, so Cat Sif's actually on some betrayal thing, or does he give them a fake one or something? We do. Maybe it's a fake. That cat sis booty is funny. A little cat booty just up in the screen, like. Care to explain, <laughs> cat? It's uh, not how it looks. What was I thinking? Trusting you. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no. Barrett's Please. gun looks so silly. Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. 
This piece of shit. I don't understand. Why? Because he's an asshole. One we should have never trusted in the first place. Don't. He deserves it. Not you too. from the start it had to end this way but it still stings for a moment there it felt like we were friends what would he sh why is he saying that should he if he did if it is a fake would he not have n do you get what i mean would he not have known that obviously if if you make it look like you just robbed the fucking <laughs> if you make it look like you just robbed the keystone and you ran off with it of course motherfuckers is gonna call you a snake and kick you out the crew bro what the fuck like in the original they don't but like you hear me of course nick everyone's gonna be pissed bro and he's like oh i actually thought we were friends but it's like bro you just ran off and stole the keystone if there's deeper levels to why you did that or whatever's going on then you need to explain the levels bro Oh, does Red still sound like a girl? I'm desensitized to that at this point. Did you miss that? You missed that part of this playthrough, yeah? Yeah, Red's a little kid now. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? When you get to Cosmo Canyon, oh like. Yeah, you said you don't care about no spoiler, right? Yeah, so when you get to Cosmo Canyon, you know in the original, Nanaki, like, everyone's like, oh, shit, it's Nanaki. And you're like, what? That's his real name? And you're like, holy shit, dog. And he's all excited to see Bugenhagen. And do you, you get what I mean? There's all this excitement. Oh, free, free, free on the phone. That's some good light codes right there. But yeah, you know. Um, or even there's an extra free there, too. And another one. Epic. But yeah. When he gets there, there's no explanation. They don't talk about it. No one asks any questions. Just randomly, all of a sudden, his voice actor changes. So they get rid of his normal voice actor and a new voice actor comes in with like this baby voice. And he speaks in baby voice. And like sometimes he flips from baby voice back to like adult voice and back to baby voice. But like most of the time he sticks to baby voice from now on. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on comms. I'll find them. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. <laughs> then we're oh, you played it with an, a fan of the original, right. yeah? I'll run on ahead and get what chapter did you guys you. play? Later. That's like Set Water Serpent. He's a big fan of the original. The but he just he hasn't finished it himself. He just likes the characters and stuff. So he doesn't know what's real or what's not real in this game. Do you get what I mean? So I have to explain to him, like, nah, that wasn't in the original. Yeah, that was in the original, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. But, like, he was he was pretty disappointed. He's, he was he was really upset with what they did to Red's character when he was, like, doing this moonwalking and shit. There was, like, this this loud pop music starts playing and Red starts breakdancing. And um, really? Water Serpent was just like, what the fuck is this? The moment they get on comms, I'll find them. Well, now. Got a transmitter. Huh? Then we're in business. All right. Crazy how I'll Sid and Vincent and aren't in the game. Later. It's settled then. We follow Shinra to the temple. The black materia will be ours. Right. So now we want the black materia too. We sound like Sephiroth. The black material will be ours. Crazy. Everybody's got green smiley faces, huh? What are we doing? Can we teleport out of here? Is that what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to fast travel now. See, that's another thing about the, the shit that's fucked up is that you're constantly fast traveling so there's no um there's no sense of exploration 
Like, look at that. I just teleported from the gold saucer straight there. Like, back in the day, you had to explore the world. And I, I, when I think of, you know when you think of games and what games are known for? Final Fantasy, a big part of their, their gameplay loop is exploration. Like, when I was trying to meditate on it, I was like, what is it that is a, that Final Fantasy is? Like, what is it that is? That is? And it's exploration. You're meant to want to explore, and exploring is meant to be fun. But in this game, exploring is so difficult that they just they give you fast travel because they know you don't want to you don't ever want to explore. Cosmo Canyon itself is so badly mapped that it has an internal fast travel system where you can fast travel around different parts of Cosmo Canyon because they know that you're lost. It's like that's how bad it is the mapping. There you are. Chapter nine. Thanks, you gotta straw, sort your strat for Keep Scarlet. Let me see. No matter what you do, none of the girls feel strong enough to kill her. So you got your mate doing side. You got your mate doing side. Give me a read back. Confirm. That poor bastard. You made him go and do Speaking side quests. That's outrageous, dog. All units have been apprised That's of the temple location. Did you manage to find the one where he has to drag the chicken feed on the little string? to trick the chicken into eating it and get the chickens back in the pen. So that one looks like the best. I did some digging. This Bro, this game without fast travel stuff, would not get completed, like I don't think, by, by many people. Everyone who's ever used it has uh, I don't think it's going to get completed Close. by many people anyway, but Precise. imagine if there was no Those fast travel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complete this without fast travel. And think back to the original. Do you remember how fun it was to travel around? Either it was way, really fun to like go from to town to town, to get in the buggy, drive around, to get in the the, the bron bronco and go around the, the sea or whatever, to go on your chocobo and run around, to run on foot uh, even. I don't know. Like, Maybe because it was fun going idea. around and it wasn't difficult. Although, it was quite easy to get around. Do you get what I mean? You get a few fights along the way, bloody blah, blah. It was cool. Like, going around the world in this is such a chore. It's so frustrating and just, like, annoying to do that they have to give you fast travel. You know, you think back to the previous one. Back then, fast travel wasn't even a concept that existed yet. You couldn't fast travel in that game. Do you see what I'm saying? But you never felt like, oh, I have to go here. Oh, I have to go there. It was fun. Yeah, they, they really fucked up on getting the, the feeling of being an explorer and exploring and adventuring and discovering a new world. Because that's what the game is about, I think, the original. When I think back to it, like, it's about a lot of things. But when you think of like, what's the core thing that, that your team is doing? You're, oh, you're exploring. This is gonna be rough. You're on an adventure. You've got a goal, but you're say? basically exploring the world and discovering it for the first time. And this game doesn't have that feeling. It's more like it's just dropping you into, like, from uh, region to region or, like, mission to mission. Hope you're ready for a fight. Square Enix always uh, struggle with that whole concept of, like, having a world versus having missions and shit. They're never really sure what they want to do. Right, let's roll, motherfucker. What are we doing? It's question marks. Oh, we're going to the temple. Finally, we're going to the temple. What chapter is this? Wow. Part of me kind of hoped it was chapter 12, you know? Still. They really... You know, I really thought we was going to hit chapter 10 and the game was going to, like, kick off. You know, I thought, like, I think I was even saying that from, like, chapter 8 or some shit. You know, I was like, nah, like, all of the good parts, they must just be at the end of the game. Like, do you get what I mean? They must just have bare filler. And then as soon as the, the city of the ancients, temple of the ancients shit starts, it's going to kick off. And, like, it's chapter 13 and we're only just going to the... the um, we're only just going to the, the Temple of the Ancients now. To deal with Scarlet. I mean, you're probably leveling the stuff already. You probably have a movement that you're going on. But yeah, you just want all of the free, you know, in the in the folio, you just want all of the free lightning. Make sure everybody's got free lightning. And um, 
get some HP up, some MP up. Who's on the team? Tifa and Ares, right? Tifa and Yuffie. You put Yuffie on the lightning. You know in her attack, she's got that lightning ninjutsu. You uh, throw on the lightning ninjutsu and just spam square. And that will get Scarlet staggered, like, easy. And then uh, hit it with the free lightning from the abilities. But also maybe just hit it with the MP lightning. I haven't done no testing, but I'm guessing that the MP lightning might do more damage than the free one. But that's what I would do. I would just build the whole team around. Like, if, if you go there and you're finding her difficult, just, just, just build everything around lightning damage. We don't have no elemental yet, but like, yeah, lightning damage will melt. Yeah, Tifa, Yuffie, and Aerith. Imagine if you, if you had lightning elemental, that would be cool. And that's why this game is stupid, bro. Because why don't I have an elemental? Like, we should have like five or ten. Like, all of the, all of the materials. You see, I had this idea today. Every single material that was available at the, in, at the end of the last game should be available at the beginning of this game. All of the equipment, everything. Like, even if we start at level zero or whatever, but we should be able to go and at least buy it back or, like, do something. Do you get what I mean? The fact that we have to, like, re we have to get drip-fed materials throughout the game. Do you get what I mean? Because you could just load up your whole squad with lightning elemental combo, yeah, and then give Aeris a lightning auto cast. Or just give everybody a fucking lightning elemental and a lightning auto cast. That boss fight's toast. And they know that. That's why they're fucking drip feeding the materials. Because they know that we're going to make some broken shit. But they should just let us make the broken builds, bro. Like back in the day. Back in the day, the builds were super broken. Just let us make the broken builds. It's fine. I don't think she does no magic. So you get the yeah the physical defense. You get the physical defense bracelets. You would load up all of the lightning attacks from the folios. You would get some high level lightning materials. At least level two, level three would really do it. You see, Eris. If you line Eris up and you put down the arcane ward and you hit her with a fucking level three thunder. Like, that will interrupt every single one of her phases, I'm pretty sure. Like, I haven't tested it, but I'm just guessing. Like, say she's got three phases, and she's fucking you up in the middle of the phase, you just make sure Aeris um, has a fucking arcane ward down, and you cast a level three thunder. If you don't have level three thunder, just um, spam level two thunders from the arcane ward. Like, that's gonna, f that, that's gonna fuck her shit up, bro. That will get her pressured. Then you pull up with Tifa and Yuffie, and um, with Tifa, you spam the focused attack. Yeah. Um, you should be able to do it. Is not, in fact, the promised land. Use the, no. let me pause it one more. You use the fucking lightning. You use the lightning to get her pressured. Once she's pressured, you, you spam the focus attacks from Tifa. I'm not really sure what Yuffie's doing because I don't know if she has a specific focus attack, but like Yuffie's got good damage too. Is not, in fact, the promised hey, Hojo, land. this temple is not the promised land. As if you know. None of you motherfuckers know, bro. Either You're just way. trying to figure it out for yourselves. Then what is it? Hmm. The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faithful. A watershed moment for all mankind. But the temple itself. Merely the stage. Objective sighted. Sorry, bro. This is the last time I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to tune in. Because these motherfuckers, they, they lost me chapters ago. A watershed moment for all mankind. Oh, he said, so what is it? And he said, it's a moment. Hojo doesn't even know what the fuck's going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's tune in. All right, end game. Finalissimo. Wow, I can't believe they got away with that. That's 12 chapters of just... I mean, the last chapter was kind of narratively important because we were getting the keystone. But it wasn't, like, fun or anything. But, like, damn, son, it took sure them, a, the like, place? all the way up to chapter 13 what? before anything cool happens. So much filler episode. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is this the cool cutscene that made me buy the game from the trailer? It might be, you know. Uh, yeah, I think it is. This cutscene made me buy the game. It was cooler in the trailer, but it's still kind of cool. It would have been more cool if the game was good. But like, yeah, this cutscene is why I bought the game still. I didn't see all of it, I just saw the stones and I knew immediately. I saw the stones in the sky locking in and I knew immediately what it was. I was like, oh shit, that's the fucking temple of the ancients. And I was really hyped. Yeah, maybe, it would, maybe that, I think that's what I saw there. I think I saw that. That bit at the end. Hey guys, look. Yo, yo, yo. What a serpent. All right, mateys. We cripping or what? Did you see the cutscene, bro? Did you see the temple of the ancients? I'm not your matey either. <laughs> Just roll with it, kid. Y'all ready? Then batten down the hatches and hold on tight. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. <laughs> Man said it's because this isn't a chapter two to remake. It's a different game. If it was part two, you sure would have carried over. But they was like, fuck you all. Start over with dead materia. <laughs> Bro. My favorite materia in the original game, there's only one of them in the game, I think, and it's called like assist materia, ATB assist materia. I normally give it to Tifa. And um, I went to go and check Chadley because my materia list was looking a little bit light. Everything was a bit dead. I was like, where's all the good shit? So I've gone to go and check Chadley. And uh, lo and behold, he had the assist materia. I was like, oh shit, you got what I'm looking for, bro? And, and uh, he was trying to charge me 40 chadley coins for it and i only had 10 chadley coins and like i was like oh fuck you chadley and i just left the shop do you get what i mean but yeah I, I i thought about it like you said just giving us dead material i was like that's my favorite material in the last game and you only gave me one in that game and like here i am in this game you're giving me one again like only one yeah just like the last game. Would it not make sense that I still have one from the last game? And maybe you give me at least a fucking second one? Give me a second one, bro. Like, come on. It's not going to make the build that broken to just give me a second so ATV much, uh, so assist. Like, what? And then, like, Wave the fact that, on that he, he only trades the material for the Chadley tokens. You go on ahead. They should have a Chadley token sure price and that? a Gill price. And I don't even care if it's like I'm 10 grand boy. of fucking materia. Like, you should be able to buy his materials for Gil. Mad times I go to his shop. I don't want these shit materials in a normal shop. I go and check Chadley. Half of the time his stuff is whack too. But like, sometimes Chadley's got the sauce. And I'm like, cool, I'll buy that. And I go to buy it and I can't even buy it because I don't have the right fucking resources. I need to go and farm rocks. If I go and scan the rocks, then I can buy the Chadley coin. I don't even know where the rocks are. I'm not doing that, bro. So yeah, I think the biggest the biggest fuck up is like that they locked the best materials behind um, really bad side quests. They should have just just locked the best. All you have to do is just find it, just find it on the floor and pick it up. You want me to explore your world? Put the fucking Bahamut materia at the top of the mountain. I'll climb the whole shit and go and pick it up, bro. But I'm not gonna go and scan rocks for Chadley. I don't give a shit what materia you give me, bro. I I, I don't give a fuck. You can keep it. Just on principle, like, I'm not doing it, bro. Do you feel me? See, this skill tree as well, I've been, I've been, um, applies to protect status. I'm not, I'm not going to diss it like it's trash, yeah? Like, I'm be like, oh, this thing's shit, blah, 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 blah. It's, you know, I'm sure it's cool, whatever. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan. I find, I don't really like spending time on this screen. And like, like how the card game comes from FF8, I feel like this sphere grid comes from FF10. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with it really, but like, I just, I don't really enjoy coming here. And it makes me, I realize I haven't checked my weapon shit. Look, check this out. So 
Then you you come out there and you're like, oh yeah, there's where's the weapons? And you go over here and you go, oh yeah, shit. So I've just upgraded my characters, but I forgot to upgrade my weapons. I can upgrade my weapons too. Okay, let's let's have a look at this. And like, oh shit, there's fucking six weapons. So I got un upgrade six separate weapon skill trees, like. But if you want, where is it? I'm trying to figure this out because I don't even know. How. Yeah, look, auto upgrade. You can just tell it to do it automatically if you want. Because even they know that most people don't have the time to, to, to do all of that. You're going to set six skill trees, six separate skill trees. Yeah. for e So six for Cloud. Probably, I don't know, say they've all got ten weapons. Ten skill trees each. Yeah, for each weapon. Then you fucking come over here. And you do your fucking folio thing. And so say, I don't know, how much characters there? Six. So you get six skill trees plus like 10 skill trees. So what's that? Like 60 skill trees in the game that you're supposed to do or some shit. That's how, that's insane, bro. That's just super insane. But in saying that, yeah, let me come here. Because when you come to upgrade weapons, I don't even, I'm not even sure I know how to do it manually in this game. Like how to un unlock the menu. Like you come here, when you press X, nothing happens. Acquired skill points. Remove skill we weapon skill. I guess the skill trees are different in this. Maybe I don't know. Like, I guess that's them over there. So it's not even a skill tree. Yeah, yeah. And you just can do this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm chatting rubbish. You can ignore me. This shit, you just click on it, and then you just tell it what you want to prioritize. That's a shame, bro. That's even worse than what I thought. So they simplified the weapon skill trees, those epic weapon skill trees, where you could have like six different weapons with specific sets. Like, do you know what I mean? Where you could be like, this is my magic one. This is my physical attack one. This one's for defense. Now you got like this simplified skill tree and instead we have the folios. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, I'm, I'm, I, that's a shame because I thought the weapon upgrade trees from before were really cool. And I really don't care about this um, folio thing. Like when I come here, I don't really look at what I'm unlocking because I know that it's kind of that they're kind of controlling the path anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like I can I can influence it, but there's not really much I can do. Like there's not much player expression there. They've got a map and they kind of want me to unlock shit in a certain order. So that's just, I just click it as it goes. And like, I don't really want to sit there and read all the stuff, but that's probably just because I'm disinterested in, in the game in general. Do you get what I'm saying? But like, yeah, man, I'm not a fan of the folio skill tree over the weapon upgrade skill tree from the past. I, I was ranting a minute ago because I actually thought that it had two skill trees. Like you had your weapon skill trees plus your fucking folios. And I was like, holy fuck, bro, that's insane. Why so many skill trees? But obviously I was wrong on that. They don't. You just got one main skill tree in the folio and then your weapons, um, well, maybe. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm talking that shit as if I even understand the menus in this game. Menus in this game are the same as the menus from the last game, but they just got more layers. So, like, it's easier to get lost. And it was already kind of easy. Like, look at that plane. <laughs> this game can never get um, helicopters in the distance good. In the past, they couldn't do it either. The helicopters look like 2D. But yeah, the menus, like in the past game, it was easy to get kind of like, not super lost, but just kind of like confused in the menus. In this one, yeah, I, I, I fully like, I don't even fuck with the menus because there's just too much information. Them helicopters look janky as fuck, bro. <laughs> Let's go. The Cetra, yes. Little cam break. Finally. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak. Yeah, some of the ideas on the skip, on the folio tree are pretty cool, but I just I just. I don't know what it is, if it's just the way it looks or something, but there's just something about it, I just don't like it. It might just be because it reminds me of the sphere grid. 
And I never really enjoyed the sphere grid as a kid. No. I don't know what it is, but like, yeah, this I don't like isn't it. This the promised land. I mean, just look around. It can't be. Not with all this sadness and anger. Now, hopefully this game, one thing I wouldn't mind seeing is, is some new lore on the ancients. Not that I would let it affect the previous lore, because this is a different timeline, but like... In the previous episode, one of the characters was talking about... Um, one of these gi motherfuckers from the cave was talking about how the, the ancients were like a fucked up, selfish, greedy people. And like, you know... Eris is a nice person, but like this, this, the ancients were some cunts apparently. So like, yeah, it would be cool. Oh, pardon me. It would be cool if they expand on that lore a little bit. Do you get me? I was pissed when they painted the ancients in that way. I always kind of imagined the ancients as like kind of good guys. You know, I, I, I like that image of the ancients. If they want to twist it or whatever, whatever. But like, I hope that they like, you know. I hope that what they, they show us some cool cutscenes basically. I hope there's some cool shit going on and it's cool. Shinra always got these like 10,000 airships everywhere. These motherfuckers is loud, bro. You can see them coming a mile off. They didn't waste any time. The greedy sons of bitches. These sons of bitches. Hojo, that son of a bitch. <laughs> That's my favorite line from FF7 Remake, I think. That line is like really good. Hojo, that son of a bitch. No, no, that's not the way he says. He says, that son of a bitch, Hojo. That's what he says. That's, that's the best line in the original game, man. Yeah, it's so fucked up how... um. That expression man use uh, is so fucked up how they make you roll with, like man said, dead materials. Like, I had to grind basically three quarters of the game before I was able to get a, um, before I was able to get a, a haste magnify combo going on. Like, not until like chapter nine or some shit. I was late in the game when I got a haste uh, thingy combo going on. And they're still low level, like, do you hear me? I still gotta do the AP grind and get them and all of that if I want. I'm not doing that, but like, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's some crazy shit, man. Only one AP up. Like, like, see, yeah, just that again. All, just all the best shit. Just only one of each. Like that was the biggest issue with the last game is that you only had like a limited amounts of the best ones. Like the shit ones, you could get infinite, but the the the, the best ones, you couldn't even clone them by mastering them. Like it should be whenever you clone it, you get a free master. Whenever you master it, you get a duplicate. Where'd you get the haste material from? I think I bought it at Cosmo Canyon. Back in the original, Cosmo Canyon always had the epic materials and the epic weapons. So I went there and they still had, they still do. Epic weapons, epic materials. So I bought up their stuff still. They were rocking. I didn't even mean to summon Shiva, but like whatever, we'll just roll with it. Yeah, yeah, it was funny when they all ran past Barrett. Did you notice that? I didn't mention it because I was busy talking some other shit, but like, yeah, they do. It's pretty nuts. And Tifa just kicking this guy in the back and he's just like not aggroing. That's so funny. And I still haven't found a weapon that's got star shower on it. I, I like, it. let's have a look and see what we got right now. But yeah, I'm still looking for some of my favorite abilities from the previous game. I haven't found them yet. Yeah, yeah, still haven't got them yet. No. Anyway, let's throw these on because that's that's locked. That's locked in now. Is his thing locked in yet? 
No, we still haven't learned Blade Burst. Yeah, we're still learning SmackDown. All right. Now, apparently, there is some kind of party loadout somewhere in this menu, but like, I'm, I'm, I don't know, bro. But yeah, if you spend enough time trying to figure out how the menu works in this game, like you did in the last game, then like, uh, yeah, you can, apparently, you can make party loadouts. And I was like, all right, cool. That's, that's, that's all right. You know what would be nice is a swap all. You see like now you can swap like one. It would be nice if you could trade the entire set. Just be like swap all of these materials from this character to this character. That would be nice though. And that's what I mean like now all I've got is shit. Do you get what I mean? Like I got all these empty slots and like all the materials that are left are shit. I can go to the shop and buy more shit materials. Or I can go and grind up Chadley coins and go and buy some some gangster materials from Chadley. But I'm not doing that. So, yeah, I'm just stuck with these shit materials. <laughs> it's very good. It's good times. It's that fire, eyes. I just load up the slots anyway, just like, because it feels wrong not to. But, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, and we gotta do the summon with things. I think they could have put more effort into making the menu, um, the menus easier to to get around. Like not being able to just go blop 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 on the summons is like ridiculous. Like if you try to, if you press up, it brings you, to, and you have to go all the way around. Do you get what I'm saying? You should just be able to go over to the summons and just go up 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 down down down. Do you get what I'm saying? That's how it looks. So it's like, it's a bit nuts. But yeah, I feel like, uh, like I was saying, the, the resources were misdirected. Instead of putting all of that effort into mini games and all of this goofy shit, it would have been nice to have a cleaner menu. Like instead of making the menu more complicated and adding more pages, reduce the menu and add less pages and make things like clarify things. You know, like how when you open the materia page, you have to press an extra button to open up like the everybody window. Like it took me forever to, to, to scan the screen and figure out where that was. Like make that a little easier to read. Like make everything a bit more obvious. Like if you got party loadouts, put that front and center. Look, you got a whole thing here for card decks. Like what? And party is underneath it. Party should probably be at the top, bro. You got a crafting thing at the top. Put the party at the top and make it really easy to understand what the fuck's going on in here. And like how to build, like make it easy to build, make it easy. Like why are you complicating the menu? Like the boss fight should be hard, cool, whatever. But like the menu should not be a challenge. Like you should be able to just open the menu and you're just like, bang, I'm in. I know what this is. This goes here. This is one hell of a mess. Yeah, but they didn't have Aerith. We get a free pass, right? Oh no. But half of me is Etra, right? I tried, but no free pass for us. Now, I know I came with you all this far, but I ain't about to go in there. Sorry, folks. Oh, damn. No, don't apologize. You've done so much for us already. We'll always be grateful, Sid. Wait, don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. All right, cool. Probably gonna go and get some food from downstairs to bring up and eat while we watch some of these cutscenes. I didn't notice it until I started streaming, but I'm feeling a little peckish. I'm a little peckish.
legend has entered the temple, and he is doubtless close behind. This is going to be interesting. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hope you're watching, Dad. Low. All right, let me go make this bowl of rice. I'll be back in a second. Give me two minutes. Sorry about that brief intermission. I didn't realize how hungry I was after the studio. So yeah, let me get something to eat while we do this. 
I was about to say epic games, but it's, it's epically bad. Yeah, let's get it. Damn, Roche. Back in high school, you was the man, Roche. The fuck happened to you? He's looking fucked up right now. Sephiroth beat us to the punch. Come on. We don't have much time. Damn, so Roche is actually fucked up right now, bro. Roche is like for real, for real fucked up. Look. He's fried. Zombified. All right, let's go. Kate hasn't already told them. It doesn't matter if they know or not. We just need to find it first. Uh -huh. Hold up. What the hell? I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm no. to think we checked our sanity at the door. thing here is death for us all elena cut the chatter hey you know i'm right <sighs> sir avalanche and the ancient they're here i say we set an ambush and take them out no we focus on the mission <sighs> our orders were to find proof that this is indeed the promised land so we will split up in search reno rude pair off Elena, you're with me. Sir. Reno. Hmm? See you keep your priorities straight. Copy that, boss. Starting enough without Shinra the Black Rose complicating things. Cloud just teleporting around the cave like.
Oh, we got turned into a toad. That's fucked. I don't even think we have no anti-toad armor or anything like that. This is gonna be rough. Yeah, we don't have no petrify heal or no fucking frog heal. We're probably gonna get fucking wrecked on this mission, man. That sucks. We're gonna have to load back and like buy stuff. So I thought that was a new level, but that looks a lot like where we came from. Let's try flipping it again. Must be missing. Oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> See, so far this one's not so bad. It could have just been more of this. But I don't want to speak too soon. But like, you know, it's 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 so it's it's like it's. Like it would be, you know what I mean? It would be easy to make the game good. Like, and there's little moments where you're like, oh yeah, cool, it's all right. And then it's, but in this one, they're they're very, they're way less than there are in the first one. But like, yeah, this 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 stage so far is, oh my god, what the fuck? This stage so far is not that bad. Have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. That is so funny. Let me just watch this meme while I um, finish this rest. <laughs> Cloud just glitching the fuck out like.
clapping down this bowl, innit? Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> We're almost done. Very tasty. Try putting the box on the top by the arrow. Try putting the box and the top. Oh, it spins twice if you do it like some fucked up way. Is it gonna spin now? I wasn't sure what I did. I kind of swung the analog stuff. I think you have to turn it left all the way and then you have to like turn it right all the way. I'm not sure what I did, but I like, swung it differently and it just kind of unlocked that time. Janky ass game. Yeah, originally when I first came here, I was trying to make it go to the top, but it would only spin halfway. But when I came this time, I kind of swung the stick. Like, I put it there and I started swinging it, like, and it just kind of swung around. Strange, that. That's like earlier when I was in Nibbleheim. I climbed up the thing and tried to hop up the shelf, but it wouldn't let me hop up the shelf. So I had to climb down the thing, climb back up the thing, and then it let me hop down the shelf. I mean, hop up the shelf, and I was just like, right. There's like sometimes shit doesn't load in properly, I think, with this game. Like trigger points. Do you hear me? When you're when you're at a trigger point and you have to like do certain things to get it to trigger, sometimes it doesn't work. You see a young Z teleport, let's see if we can get more teleports. Nah, that was a that was a jump. But he he be teleporting though. says no one who enters the temple ever comes out, according to the captain. Why am I only hearing this now? Asshole was probably lying to his teeth. Don't fear, don't mind. I guess they had to get some kind of climbing mechanic figured out because the original has a lot of climbing, but they just, I think they just went the wrong way with it. Like what might have been nicer would have been like, um, you see when you get to the bottom of the wall, like instead of making you push all the inputs to climb up the whole wall, you just walk up to the wall and then Cloud just goes like whoop, 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 and then like he's just there. Do you get me? And if you want to go down, you do the same thing. Just walk up to it and Cloud's just like whoop, 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 and then you're back down at the bottom. So you don't have to sit there like pushing all the buttons. Do you get what I mean? I think that would bang still. Okay, I'll go ahead. Yeah, so it's like, it's kind of some janky shit you gotta do to it. You gotta kind of like swing it around and like, yeah. You gotta, sw you gotta like take it halfway and then kind of start doing the swingy kind of thing to it. And it lets you spin it all the way around. Oh, we finally get counter stance. Whoa, this sword looks sick as fuck. What the fuck is this? It's a shame it doesn't have the OP stats, bro. You know what's rip as well? This is the strongest sword, physical attack sword in the game. So that means this is going to be the, the end game OP sword. And I just, it's cool as fuck. I'm not going to lie. It's super cool. But it's also ugly as fuck at the same time. Like, I don't want to have to look at that on Cloud's back forever. Like, it's cool, but like, 
Like, I think this looks way more cloud. Do you get what I mean? It suits cloud way more. But it doesn't have the damage. I like this sword still. And I'm happy it's got counter stance. Slipstream Saber. So have we got all of Cloud's weapons now, it looks like, still? Because the thing's full up, look. Like, Barrett's one has space, her one has space. Everyone else has space, but Cloud's one's full up. Igneous Saber. All right, we're going to go with the Slipstream Saber. So we can unlock this counter stance. Wait, isn't everybody shit? I think everybody's weapons need swapping out at this point, actually. Yeah, that thing's full up as well. Okay, so we'll put this thing on. Increases damage dealt by unique ability. Sick. Right now, is hurting learnt? No, hurting is just getting learnt now. All right, cool. All right, let's roll. Oh shit! It's lightning outside. camera is so far zoomed out like I think maybe I increased the distance but the distance in I, I mirrored my um, settings from the previous game but I think the camera distance is different in this one oh what the fuck Yuffie asking. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Let's go.
A lot of the swords look a little bit too big on Cloud, you know. That like, it makes sense that the Buster Sword is super big because it's the Buster Sword, but a lot of these swords they look just a little bit too big on his uh, model. Like they went, they tried to emphasize like the fact that his swords are big, but like they kind of over overemphasized it on some of them. They look a little bit like too big. Like this sword would definitely look better if it was a little bit smaller. Oh no, we got three choices now. That sucks. Which way are we supposed to go? see if we got any gear that protects us against like frog or whatever okay so you come here just for the item Damn, I'm here. I saw that they said in a new patch they like made the IV easier to navigate. Maybe I should have updated the game. Hopefully we don't get stuck trying to navigate the IV. Oh, you can sprint climb. Cloud is going to fall off for a minute. Let's 
Laser beams, baby. I guess I was I was right. I just thought it was gonna start getting better from chapter ten. <clears throat> but like this chapter's not so bad. I didn't expect them to wait all the way to chapter twelve to like get get something interesting going on. But yeah. What? How is he even moving this? So janky. I wonder what it is that they got so badly wrong over at Square Enix that they, they, they don't know how to design games anymore. I didn't play 16 to know how good or how bad it is, but like, between Remake and this, I'm kind of convinced they don't really... They, they can do boss fights and they can do cutscenes, but like, they can't just do like normal gameplay. Just like, like exploring a stage or like, do you hear me? They don't know how to do that. They used to, but they, they don't anymore. What the fuck happened to Cloud? Like jumped across the whole fucking thing. Like, <laughs> cheap ass animations. What are we doing? Wait, did they just fall off the same waterfall that guy fell off? No, they just... Or maybe it was meant to look like we fell off the waterfall, but... Because Cloud fucking launched across the screen. In fact, let me save that shit. That was funny. Wait, what's the point in climbing this? Is it just for the memes? I think it is. 
Just for the memes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the whole crew climbing. So we tried fucking with that and wasn't there that thing's already sideways. Isn't there um another one somewhere? Maybe that is where it wants us to go though. We go up, and we just spin that one. These guys are fucked, because I'm sure getting in here is like one thing, but getting out of this place is a whole nother business, bro. Damn, son. That food was tasty, but I wish I had some juice. I wouldn't mind going to the shop, but at the same time, that's gonna fuck up the whole stream. Barrett off the fucking cliff. Pretty sure that dragon was meant to be like a moment, like you're meant to fight the dragon and then pick up the bracelet, but for whatever reason the dragon didn't even aggro <laughs> until like we came back to him. Yeah, this dungeon's a bit fucked now.
fuck is this? Oh, that's the shop. Low. Alright, I'm just gonna see if I can't find some some um, juice around the house. Give me a second. Didn't find no no juice, but I found some sexy chocolate though. And that should keep the show on the road. Sometimes you need a little sugar. without a guardian, right? What is it, Chalbean? Don't piss it off more. Focus, guys. This is the kind of dragon it would have been sick to see Sephiroth fight at the start of the game. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. This ends here. Deal with that. Ah. All set. What? 
low, so we have to be in range. It would be cool if they showed you what attacks need to be in range, or like they get you in range, or I don't know. So you don't waste your synergy abilities, do you know what I mean? Trying to figure them out. with this camera angle, bro. Pretty sure this is the first good chapter, like the first chapter that's kind of been like somewhat fun for a really, really long time. Nice. Oh, for the first time in a long time, like that wasn't like super depressing. That was all right, like. Oh dear, this is called Into the Labyrinth. Oh no. I thought we just got out of the labyrinth. 
I mean, I knew already that we weren't because I know how these dungeons are. They're always two stage dungeons, but like, it would have been nice if we were out, man. I'm just gonna go get some bread. Give me two seconds. Oh shit, this cutscene looks interesting. Give me a minute. Alright, let's get it. What in the what? Look. Wait, so what in the what? Come on, Yaffe, you show me. What in the what is going on? Live stream fucking these guys up. Almost bit it. You pity those fools? Let me see what happened to those fools. Barrett out here pitying them. Was it really that bad? It was kind of bad. They ran across the thing and they get fucked up by the live stream. Barrett says almost, almost. Cause you know really he's just like fuck Shinra. It's like fuck those guys. That was supposed to get deleted, not favorite. I think the live stream. Funny, I was doing that to see. I wonder. I thought there might have been some kind of protection on deleting favorites, but At I guess least, not. That's how it feels. Hey, Aerith. Do you think you could explain that we don't mean any harm? I don't know. I mean, I'll try. Disney shit going down right now.
area is our priority. We have to get to it first. Let's move. Cloud! They're with Aerith. They'll be fine. <laughs> Aerith was just dancing on that shit. The whole fucking thing disappeared. This is the theme I wanted to hear. I waited a long time to hear this theme. I like this theme, the original, a lot. old crafting materials. Can't leave those behind. Chadley might not give me any material. Hey! Get your shit together! Shut the fuck up. Came here to get this money dog. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna light these fools up. Overcharge these bitches. Oh maximum furious shit. Yeah, I'm glad I went to go and get that bread. I was sad when there was no juice, but like getting that bread to go with the Nutella kind of kept the show on the road. Come on, bitch. Pretty sure when you're trying to grind your materia up to max level as well in this game, I think Cat Sif is the best person to farm the AP points with, which is another reason why I doubt I'll be doing that shit. Who's that for? Oh, we got some gloves for Tifa. That's cool. The John Grappier. Oh, this has got the true strike. All right, nice. Maybe we'll just swap straight over. Yeah, I think we will.
conversation I have with myself sometimes now is like, after this, if they ever did bring out a one for one remake, would I buy it? I, I don't know if I would, you know. Yo, that thing that Barrett's got equipped that increases your limit break, that shit goes up so fast. This is like when the winds are up at the, the crater and stuff. You would have thought there would have been like an item down here or some shit. Yeah, but how do we get over there, babe? We can summon right now. That's crazy. Summon for this trash mob. That's cool though that they give us more summons than they used to. That's not a bad thing. That's good. Is the FF15 introduced the ideas of like limited summons, isn't it? FF15, you never see a summon, bro. You see a summon like once in a whole playthrough.
Who's that cat stiff over there talking shit? I can hear him. Chanting down the place. We're going as fast as we can. Okay. Maybe it's it was good. these guys. Two strike is on that now, nice. It's on you. Oh my, watch it to stay down there. Go, asshole. Hurry up. Don't go to the asshole. Bring it home. Man, these soldiers are trash, bro. It's not death. It's a homecoming. So what happened to the other two? Did we not kill the other two as well? Hey kids, sorry we're late. Cause they disappeared, so are they not dead as well? Better late than never. Tifa and Barrett actually Still shot. you both for Sector 7. <laughs> Could say the same for you. Dun, it's a dun, shame dun. we'll have to settle up later. Oh good, I was hoping we wouldn't have to fight these two again. That would have been a bit too much repeat boss fights from the last game. We'll just have to pick this up next Especially seeing as all the other boss fights have been so weak. Do you get what I'm saying? It would be whack if like... So what? Let's, let's recap. What boss fights have we had since then? Yeah, Rufus. The only good boss fight so far was Gein Attack. Rufus is not exclusive to this game. Do you, hear me? you can fight Rufus in the other game if you want. Several hours prior. Are you serious? All right. Hang on a minute. Let me see what I missed while I was buttering up this sexy Nutella sandwich. I didn't think I was going to miss anything. Now it's all like a whole fucking six hours earlier and shit. Wow. What? Really? Is this what we're doing? Alright, say nothing. Cool, man. Several hours prior. Wow. Let's trip. 
I mean, these guys certainly are tripping. So let's trip too. Oh, you're awake. The whole of life, huh? Did it work? Screwed up. And don't beat yourself up. First time and all that. Just gotta keep at it. Starting right now. We'll get through this, Aerith. Together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Can't give up now. It's so funny, man, because like the thing always pops up to let you know that your party selection is locked. But um, it's like it's, it's always locked. It's like locked like 90 percent of the game. So it's mad funny. It always lets you know that your selection is locked. But it's like so it's, it's been locked for like the past two, three hours, bro. Like what are you doing? What's, what's changed? Like what's new? Son. Wow. Gameplay. Basically, you stand there and you look at the thing and then you rotate the left analog stick. You just gotta spin it in circles and she like charges the energy up. trying to get up but it won't let me like off all right cool right so this is just like the other dungeon i was the one with cat sith where it's like you get there and it's like oh no the first one works to let you know how it works and the second one's like oh you need to charge the thing so yeah we gotta charge up the live stream thing
What happens when you run to the edge? Oh, she looks over it. Fucking hell, man. Gonna need a bit more of that planet power. I don't have to fight this monster, but I think it will gonna make me. I'll take care of them. Well, this is it, good. <laughs> Popped up some tutorial or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I still don't think it's enough. Reach out for the energy. Maybe we have to defeat those monsters. Oh, is this the source? Can we not take this? Yeah, it should be cool. I don't get where they should just let us take that whole shit.
Let's go and try. Let's just give me a second. Hang on. Wait one sec. Hold on. Let's go sort something out. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I just had to move some stuff around the house real quick. All right, cool. Let's get this shit on the road. <laughs> Let's get this shit on the road. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. No, we ain't got no. Let's just get. I think maybe if we kill these guys, maybe they'll give us the energy that we're looking for. So we did get some. Is it enough? I don't know if it's enough for two of those things though. We yeah, all right, cool. Let's go and try again. Or maybe you can just go one way and then go the other way. Let's just have a look at um Where's the map, man? See, I want to go this way, but I want to go that way too. Like, so what the fuck? I'm not sure which way is like the main path. Do you hear me? I don't want to get like, miss out the items or whatever. We we'll just pop this one and that one and then we'll go the other way because it looks like this is not the one anyway. How strange that they let you just run around in a circle like that for no reason. Maybe there's a trick to that chest or some shit. Anyway, fuck all that. Let's go the other way and see if we can get out. And can we not take it back? Damn. Once the chalice has been filled, that's it, you're fucked. You gotta get a new live stream juice. Oh, thank God we got enough. To we 
You know, maybe this is the real one. That leads us forward. The other one is just for the chest. But that's the puzzle chest. If it was a free chest, I would have took it, but I ain't doing no puzzle so chest. Not right now. Not after the, the, the 12 chapters they just dragged us through. They can keep their puzzle chest. It's fine. Wow, so those, those fucking... <laughs> those crafting materials even show up through the walls, man. Like, through the fucking walls, bro. That's how much they want you to farm those things and craft up. They, sh they appear through the fucking walls, bro. <laughs> shit is wild. Man, I really gotta sort my team out with some shit, but like, I just, I don't really wanna spend no time in these menus, bro. I spent enough time in the Final Fantasy VII Remake menus, bro. I spent like literally 100, probably about 100 hours in those menus, man. I, I don't wanna see these menus. Oh, cool, let's go back and get that sword. Oh, we're probably gonna have to fight those bad guys anyway to absorb the um, the chi. Yeah, let's just go and fuck him up and get the chi. Wow, so we literally just killed that guy to farm his life stream energy so that we can f give it to one of these chalices. That's fucking intense, bro. <laughs> that fucked up, man. to go I just want to go the right way you know Hopefully all those other ones were puzzle ones and this is the real one, like, with any luck. Maybe we have to unlock all the doors. Right, it would be cool if we could just pray and absorb all this chi, yeah.
Hmm, <laughs> that funny. That ancient dragon got farmed for life stream juice. So we're gonna have to do every single one of these, huh? Lo, the way she waves the stick around is so funny. <laughs> it looks so jokes, man. Yeah, see, even this chapter has its own mini game. It's insane. Like literally, every single chapter has its own mechanic, its own, its own mini game. Even right until the end, like they stick with it, you know. Yeah, the way Ares presents herself in the last game, I really did think she was time traveling and she knew what was going on, but in this game, she just seems a lot more clumsy and clueless. Rip. Okay, but just for a bit. Rip theories, I guess. Damn, son. I wonder how much longer they're going to keep us in this dungeon. So when they turn into live stream, oh, it was a frog. Oh, what now? Oh, they're all turning into different stuff. At this point, something gets in our way. Kill it. Look. 
How do you see them through all of that shit? Are you insane? <laughs> Man, I see them. Bro, there's no way you can see them, bro. Stop lying, Barrett. You can you will have to like go up and look down over the thing. Like it, there's no way you can see them, bro. I keep it at girl is I see him. I was gonna make sure I go all the way back. That shit is hilarious. Or at least we're finished with Eris and that stupid puzzle magic and bullshit. That was a bit tedious. Just a little bit. Right, what now? The fuck is this shit, bro? This map, bro, I... N Stupid ass map. I'm pretty sure we're trying to go that way, but I don't actually know, to be honest. This map is ugly. Look how ugly this map is. Such an ugly map. Like imagine trying to, tra I mean we just did, but imagine like traveling around this fucked up looking map. It looks horrible. It's like corridors and pathways and it just doesn't look like any fun for anybody anywhere. Anyway, what the fuck are we doing? Funny, I was saying a few episodes ago that they should make some of the fights forced to make the to make it feel more important. But like these dungeons, bro, they just make you not want to fight anything because all you're trying to do is figure out where to go. So you don't really want to fight anything because you're lost. Knock down debris to create a park. Right. Of course. This might be the maximum, you know? Don't know how much more of this shit I can play today. 
that's so rough bro i love spending so much time in games even this game that i'm not i'm not enjoying like i'm still able to spend like mad time in it like, i don't ever be like oh yeah i can turn the shit off thank god like this game is so bad bro i just don't think like, i just solved so many puzzles bro back to back trash un like like not in engaging do you know what i mean just like walking the circle too far. I just solved like three sets of wave, three waves of puzzles, bro. We just did our first, on our first coming to this temple, we do one wave of puzzles. Then we do another wave of puzzles, the rotation shit. Then you hit us with Eris, and we do the Eris fucking puzzles. Now we're here, this is our fourth wave of like puzzle shit since we got here. No boss fight. I mean, I guess you could say that dragon or whatever, but the dragon's not a real boss, so it doesn't count. So, like, nothing cool, just... Just fucking... Just endless, infinite bullshit puzzles. So slow as well, like so so many of the animations are just so slow man. Like just so incredibly slow. Like what is this? That's what it wanted us to do the whole time. Are you fucking dumb? So why did it tell us to knock down debris? It wants us to push the thing off the edge, but the the, the little note fully said knock down debris. Like so I'm looking for debris to knock down. There ain't shit to knock this shit is stupid bro. Motherfuckers don't even care about the game enough to even like get the instructions correct. I should have known that when they dropped us into the towns and they and the waypoint was just a giant circle marker. They're just saying like walk around and figure it out. And it was like right. Should have known from then that they didn't give a shit about this game. The players definitely care more than the uh, than the developers when it comes to this game. knock down more debris that's not knocking down we're pushing it off we could try using that can't you just shoot it Barrett with a rocket or some shit Another slow time event, huh? Man, I love those slow time events. So exhilarating. Really makes you feel alive, you know? When you walk up to that fucking crank, and you hold L2, the crowd grabs a hold of that crank, and then you push the left analog stick up, and you wait for like a minute, 30 seconds, two minutes. You just kind of watch him walk in a circle while he cranks the thing. And then you look at the little rewarding cutscene, letting you know that you cranked it enough. And it makes you feel alive. You really feel disturbing. alive, man. Think we can knock it over? Charged up and tuned in. Like you're really doing something worthwhile with your time. When you get that slow time event, reward trigger, you feel like a new man. I 
I say we put this big asshole to work. <clears throat> Deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> So what did we give up on the thing? Sorry, I was talking so much shit. I missed the. Um, did they give up on the? Where's the clip? Oh, we're gonna throw him into the tower to free up the kingdom. All right, cool. And the live stream manifested this monster to fuck with us. What's this cutscene? I think I'm gonna put the game on classic, you know? Let's try it out. We're gonna try out classic and see what it's like. See if you can just kind of be a bit more AFK with this shit. Hold on. Yeah, this is way better. Oh, hopefully they can win. Mm. This game is trash. It's so bad. In fact, yeah, let's put the haste on as well. We done this whole fucking dungeon without the haste setup, so let's just sort that out. Poor Cloud, you see how he slaved over that thing? That's how the players of this game are slaved over their controllers trying to complete this piece of shit. How could they do us like this, bro? <laughs> How could they do us like this, bro? After so many years, I'm pretty sure the game 25th anniversary or 30th anniversary or some shit is coming up soon, man. How could they do us like this, bro? Is this really it? Are you fucking serious, man? How? It's... You... <laughs> they can't be serious, bro. It's just like... Man, classic mode is shit. Motherfuckers is not even attacking. We're gonna be here for fucking hours. I got this. 
Yes, having classic on is probably just kind of nice a little bit because you don't have to do anything but it's no good really they don't do anything they just kind of walk around the stage they don't even reload their atv or anything they don't even like do you know what i mean part of me had kind of hoped we would have been able to just cheese that and use that to just afk our way to the end of the game but take us like three months to beat the game like that Man, I was really gonna hit him with my abilities, but the fight's over already. That's so dumb. Or maybe we're gonna get to fight him now. Like, finish him. Uh, I was hoping it was just gonna drop straight into the stream. We still have to, like, drag it off the shelf and shit. Come on, bro. You can't just give us a 1-1 one, one for free, do you get what I'm saying? time to get pushing you just hang around i'm the one doing all the pushing you piece of shit oh you shut the fuck up barrett yeah
Yeah, six is still the limit. It would be cool. Maybe it is eight, because these are six. They haven't had no extra slots. Maybe you can go up to eight in this one. Can only be used once per battle. That's nuts. It would be nice if they would let you use it more than once. Shimon. I mean, it, it's it's fucked up because I know it's not so. I know it's mainly just because of what they've done with it. But yeah, I, maybe this is just one of those things that was cool when you were a kid, but like, it's not cool now that you're an adult. Cause it's just it's just not. Like, if it was one for one, I'm pretty sure it would still be cool. But like, obviously, it's not. They changed it, and it's like some things are cool when you're a kid, and by the time you grow up, they're like they're not cool anymore. Yeah, this shit is definitely not cool anymore, bro. This is fucking stupid. Am I even going the right way? I don't even know, bro. Legit, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. When I was young, I used to think not knowing if you're going the right way, like, because back in the day, games were young and shit. They, they'd only just started being made. So back in the day, I used to wonder, like, that, I guess I didn't really wonder because I was young and so I'd just be like, oh, shit, I'm lost. Do you get what I mean? But, like, no, nah, that's the way we came from. Cloud, go back. Yeah, but, like, nowadays when I play games, if I'm playing them and I don't know if I, like, if I can't tell if I'm going the right or wrong way, then um, I low-key nowadays I'm old enough to know that that's bad game design. Like that's not on me as a player, that's on the developers like for fucking up the dungeons. Do you get me? You should always, when a game's designed well, you should always know that you're going in the right direction. You should always know that you don't know, where, like if you don't know what's going on, you don't know where you are, you should kind of feel that and you should be like, okay, I'm gonna look around till I know where I am. And once you know your, once you found a way, you're like, that's, that's, that's forward, that's forward. And you know that you're going forward. Do you get what I'm saying? If you go the wrong way, like what we just did, you see something, you're like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Do you get me? If the, we hadn't have seen that big cutscene where the camera zooms out, we wouldn't have known. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, man, and they, they have, um, they have, a, uh, they constantly have that fuck up in this playthrough, in this uh, game, sorry where it's very difficult to try and figure out which way it is you're going. Like, am I going the right way or the wrong way? And you, you just don't, you never really know. Typically, in this game, if I'm going the right way, the characters start talking or like bad guys start showing up and that's like the main trigger to let you know. But like, yeah, it doesn't have a natural flow like to let you know that you're heading in the right direction. What was that thing on the floor? Oh, it's a dead Shinra guy. Oh, I thought he had no legs. Now he's got legs. down here. Uh, 
that's what I was talking about that shit earlier where like you walk up to the interaction point and it just doesn't it doesn't recognize you hang on a sec All right, let's go. Don't overdo it. It's on you. How come now that Reno and Rude are on our side, they're not using all their OP abilities? This is so late in the game, bro. It's just too little too late, man. This would have been cool in chapter four. I mean, I know we had Eleanor and Rude in chapter four, but that was a bit dead. Like, this is hype, but like, it's just, it's too late, bro. This is the final chapter, bro. I just don't, yeah, I don't give a shit, man. It's a bit late, like I said. I'm just going back because I just want to see um, the interaction between Rude and Tifa. Because you know he fancies her, right? Obtained a sprig of oregano. We out here farming oregano in this fucking game, bro. We out here cooking and shit. Oh, so the frogs are kind of big. He clotheslined that frog. I thought they were like tiny. They're pretty big frogs. Alright, I guess let's just keep the cam on until we finish this boss fight. Oh, thank God we've got counter stance this time. Good. Tried to hit Barrett with that sleep ball. Got fucked up instead. Good 
back to plan A then? We kick ass and take names. No, we kick ass and chew bubble gum, bro. You got it fucked up. Have fun. Yeah, it would have been cool if they had at least got new, like, you know, like some, a, a few too many of the things are repeated from the previous game. Wow, they really just stun locked Cloud. That's fucked up. This is Rama's mega attack. I don't even think we've seen this yet. Oh no, I think we have actually, yeah. Whoa, that's crazy shit. Let that shit off, baby. deleted bro Fucked up rude, yeah? Nice. Why did that even several hours prior to that? We're going back even further. Huh. 
I thought we were done. Well, then, shall we? You sure? Yep. Can't keep Cloud and the others waiting. Oh my god, bro. All right. Hey, the chapter says the hunt begins anew, and it's just like, wow, bro, are you fucking serious? Man? How many times have we solved this dungeon now? Four times, literally, legit. We've solved this dungeon four times, and they want us to solve it again. It's official now, you know. Final Fantasy is a shit game, though. You know, like, it used to be one of the greatest games of all time. And it's been shit for a long time. But because of how good it used to be, and because you could always kind of point at Final Fantasy VII and say, no, no, VII's one of the best games. I think for that reason, like, you, you still kind of looked at Final Fantasy. It was still seen as, like, a, you know, a flagship, big boy, bad man game or whatever. It was still seen as a big game. Um, that's not true. Final Fantasy is shit now, bro. It's, it's shit, man. It's just shit. And I think, like, to argue... The, the argument that Final Fantasy... Like, you see back in the day, like, say, like, even now, like, say, like, I don't know, Call of Duty or whatever. You're sitting down and you're like, this game's shit. And your friend's like, no, it's not. The game's good or whatever. You can sit down, you can talk back and forth, you can argue the point. With Final Fantasy, you can't argue the point. It's just shit, bro. It's just, it's been shit since, what, 2010? The last, the last Final Fantasy game that everybody agreed was good came out in fucking, was Final Fantasy X. And that came out like in the year 2000 or something. Do you hear me? Like what's that, 24 years of shit games? Really? Do you get what I'm saying, bro? You can't put out 24 years worth of shit games back to back to back under the name Final Fantasy. And, and it still is a good, it's not a good title anymore. It's a bad title, it's shit, man. Dog shit. Literally one of the worst titles out there. And it's like, like I said, there's mad years where you would still kind of, like, you know, you might not play them all because they don't all look good, but you'd still kind of, you just hold it in that regard. You'd be like, no, nah, Final Fantasy is a good series. It's a good game. It's like, it's got good production value, good music, good storylines, interesting, different to other games, unique. Like all of those key, key, you know, all, of, all of those words you could apply to this, and uh, not anymore. Square Enix is complete. Uh, Final Fantasy, not Square Enix. Final Fantasy, it's completely just a shit game at this point. Like in every level, I literally can't remember the last time that I played a good Final Fantasy game. I just, I can't. I know, I, I know that I enjoyed playing Final Fantasy VII as a kid, and I know that I enjoyed playing Final Fantasy VIII as a kid, and I enjoyed X. I didn't enjoy it as much as like seven and eight, but I enjoyed it. And I didn't really like nine. I'm not gonna pretend I like nine. I didn't really, but I completed it. But this, these new shit, Final Fantasy XV is one of the worst games a motherfucker ever played, bro. And that was funny because I, I played Final Fantasy 15 after like, how long was that break? It was like a, it was like a seven year break I took from playing games and I came back and played Final Fantasy 15. And even after that long break, like and coming back, you know, I missed, I skipped a whole generation and came back. And even after that, I could still tell that Final Fantasy 15 was shit. You know, like the graphics and everything, it wasn't enough to trick me. Like I knew it was shit, bro. I just knew it was like, it was obvious. Just like this game. How obvious it is that this game is shit. It's very obvious. You know, like sometimes you might watch a movie and not necessarily enjoy yourself. And at the end of the movie, you're like, oh man. And then you realize, and you realize other people don't like it. And you're like, oh, oh, it's just a shit film. I get it now. Are you with me? It's like, you shouldn't feel bad for not enjoying this game because it's a shit game. That's why you don't enjoy it.
fucking hell, bro. Where are we supposed to get this chi from? You just took back. Shit is fucking trash. You know, I just want to get out now, bro. I really didn't expect them to do this to us a fifth time. I thought we would have beaten Reno and Rude, and that was it. We were done, like, you know? They fully put a fucking clock on the screen because they knew that we were out, and it's the second time they put a clock on the screen. They literally put a clock on the screen and just rewound the time and just said, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. You thought you were finished with this dungeon, but there's actually a bit that you missed. And we're just gonna rewind time so you can go back and play the bit that you missed, all right? Fucking hell, bro. Is this really what they meant when they said fleshing out? It can't be. It can't be. It can't be that this is what they meant, bro. If it is what they meant, then they must be some real stupid people, bro. Like, literally some of the most low, just like, like, super just, just stupid as shit. Like, I've got to be careful what use, words I use. So I'm just going to use the word stupid. you got to be so stupid, just like, on so many levels, bro. To think that this is fleshing out. Like, to look at this, what this is, and to call this fleshing out, you must be a fucking idiot, bro. You have to be a fucking idiot, man. There's no way. There's no way you do this and you're like, oh, yeah, so cool, so fly, so genius. Everyone's going to enjoy. Yes, yes. Let's sell. Like, this is, is not fleshed out, bro. This is just nonsense. We're just running in circles looking for fucking live stream juice. Why, furthermore, why are we even struggling to find live stream energy? Are we not like in the fucking live stream? In the middle of it? It's like a fucking storm of it over there. Can't we just like put our fucking hand up and just, and just absorb it from the fucking atmosphere? Like it's everywhere, bro. What the fuck, man? Like, no, no, we gotta go and find the tiny little droplets and pick up the droplets. And it's just like, bro, there's fucking jugs of this shit lying around the place. And when you go to the jug and you try to pick it up from the jug, it's like, no, 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 no. Once it's in the jug, it's locked in. And it's just like, what the fuck, you cunt? Just fuck off, man, you shit game. Fucking hell. Shit is outrageous, bro. And fuck this cutscene, bro. I'm not gonna skip it because I know like there's certain homies out there lurking, watching the shit and whatnot. I and like other time. homies might come back You'll and watch see. it afterwards, you know, when it's not live. But like, just fuck off with your cutscene, bro. Just get me out of this fucking shit dungeon, bro. You had me in here for hours, bro. For hours on hours on hours, bro. This game is shit. I've got it this time. You'll see. You've got what? I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck off, Ares. You know, normally I pull back the cutscenes and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm happy I caught that. I'm happy. I don't give a fuck, man. Just fuck off, bro. Serious. Let's just get the fuck out of here now, man. Please. I don't... I don't want to be here anymore, bro. Just get us out of here, man. <sighs> do we have enough chi to do this stupid ass fucking thing? Probably not. It doesn't look like it. 
Fucking bullshit, man. games are the worst bro they're just the worst man they are the absolute dog shit worst bro i'm so i'm never buying another square enix game bro the only time i buy a square enix game is if it's made by yoko taro i'm never touching another square enix game in, in my entire life bro after this this is just a fucking piss take bro More spiritual energy is required. Whose spiritual energy? Mine. It's like these fuckers are trying to harvest me. <laughs> like that's how it feels, man. It's like they're trying to fucking hard. Like literally, they're trying to play the game, but it feels like they're just harvesting your chi. Like, or they're trying to at least. You just gotta be mindful and not give it to them. Do you get me? But like, fucking hell, bro. I'll be so happy when we finish this game and we turn this piece of shit off. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm just gonna delete it from the console. Like the revenge delete. Just deleting it from the console, man. Clean. I, lit I legit, it's, it's like, I'm not saying it to be like, oh, fuck this game. I'm not trying to shit on the game. I'm, I'm like kind of reviewing the game a little bit, like letting you know my experience. I legit don't care what's going on in this story. Like, I don't care about these characters. I don't care what's going on. I don't understand what that thing is or what the energy beams are. I just, I, I don't understand and I don't care. Do we have to go around and stop the red laser beams now, man? Let's just leave them to it, bro. Let's just leave them to it, man. Do we really have to go and stop these guys? Just leave them. They're miles away, man. Just leave them, bro. I don't want to stop them, man. If just let them have a good time, bro, please. It goes on. It continues. It continues. It, it just continues and continues and continues and continues and just goes on and on and on and on and on. Bro. Wow. All right. Let's see how much further this fucking uh, dungeon goes. Jesus. Fuck, bro. Wow. Oh, there's one right here. Thank God. He looked like he was a million miles away. I was going to say, like... Fuck, man. How far do you expect me to fucking go, bro? Is classic mode still on? Yeah, good, because I, I don't want to push no buttons for a little bit. I'm just going to go on smoke break. Wow, this classic AI is garbage, bro. He literally just walks around slowly, like looking at the enemy and not attacking.
You know when you were a kid, even at any point in your life, even just at any time up until this game came out, I bet you never ever ever could have imagined that they would release a Final Fantasy 7 game that looks like this and you would be this bored playing it or like you would, you would, you would, you would dislike it this much. You, just, you didn't even imagine that was possible. Do you get what I mean? You would have just seen it and just said, oh my god, that's the coolest shit of all time let me buy product like sell me the shit i'm buying it now so cool you never would have imagined it it would even be possible to make it this shit do you get what i mean like it would be really different you have to really go out of your way man do you get what i mean to take something this amazing and to make it this bad you have to really go out of your way bro. you have to go so far out of your way and it's like they must have really tried hard man and they they must have tried their best to make this not fun Because like this game's a lot of things, but one of the things it definitely is not is fun. There's like very small amounts of fun to be had in this game. Very small. Now they've got stuff to do. There's tons of stuff to do. Just go and ask Chadley, he'll give you something to do, but none of it's fun. And yeah, I had I had a few times, I don't know if you ever heard me, but I'd questioned on the first, on the remake a lot of the time, I used to say like, rah, like, I had this theory that normal is more enjoyable than hard. Like, it's cool too, because you're like, oh yeah, cool, I beat hard mode, cool, cool, cool. But like, some games hard mode is more enjoyable, but I'm pretty sure in remake, if you really check it, normal is actually the most enjoyable difficulty because um, you are able to refill your MP, so you're able to be much more experimental with what kind of magic you're going to use, yeah? On hard mode, you basically are not allowed to use magic. Uh, all your MP has to be saved for heals and revives because you don't have any items. So I think normal is actually more enjoyable, like more fun, do you get what I mean? Because you can do more with it, you've got more freedom, to exp like more character expression, do you get what I'm saying? And I think in this game, I, I'm, I, I think, it, I doubt I would ever play it again. I don't think I would. But like, I don't see any reason to try and play this game on hard. Normal would be, would be the hardest difficulty. You should probably fuck with it. Right? But I guess that depends on the player as well. Right? If you're in the mood to grind the game, then like, yeah, you should just do that shit. Like, especially if you enjoy it. But yeah, if you're returning, like, not much need to put this on any difficulty.
motherfuckers is immune. What the fuck, man? Oh, it's because she's got fire on, I think. Is it? Now this has to be it, bro. This has to be it. That's the fifth. That's the fifth layer of this dungeon that we fucking cleared out. Yeah. That's the fifth time they've asked us to solve this dungeon. And we've solved the fucking thing. I'm sure even they, in their copy and paste, recycle, reload, 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 repeat, repeat, fucking development whatever the fuck style they have I'm sure even they must be out of ideas now bro they have to be out of ideas now bro they have to be I mean they can make us run from like thing to thing cool this is a little janky but like the dungeon must be over bro there's no way it's not over come on Eris set me free Wait, did I even pick up the chi? I don't think I picked up enough chi. Oh, thank God we got enough chi. Oh my God. Oh my God, we got enough chi. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Now get us out of here, Eris. Now, use your magical powers. Oh, there's the cloud and the homies. Come on, Eris. You can do it. You got the power. No, we're we'll not. Them. No, we're not. Just fucking take us with your cutscene magic. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I really thought it was over, man. And it's funny, it's like, it's not like just ex exposing me to one dungeon like this could like really fuck with me like this. It's like, it's that all of the dungeons are like this. And I think from around, once you get to Gongaga, basically, once you get to Gongaga, um, that's it. It's just back to back to back to back dungeons. It's just back to back dungeons, bro. And they, they're all like this. Every single one of them is like this. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Like, it's insane, bro. So it's like, if it was just this one dungeon, I'd probably be cool. But you have to understand, I've just done like five or six of these fucking things. Back to back. Like back to back to back, bro. And like, because I'm fucking, I'm playing the game, baby. Oh, they thought we was just going to like pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down. And like, not really. I'm playing the game. And I've done this shit back to back. First, first four chapters is like fucking dungeons. I thought there were After six. the dungeons, you get the mini games. You get like four oh to five dear. chapters of Did mini games. The last set of chapters is, is a combination two, you know. fuckeroo where and? you get so what if it is? dungeons with mini games intertwined the into the dungeon. Spare the that's that's the end game. It's <laughs> it's dungeons with mini games like built in to the dungeon. That's the f that's the end game of this game. That's what it turns into. Spare us both the effort, man. No. Fucking sing. Remember that I tried to reason with you. She's Fuck you, man. This is the first time I've seen Sang fight. You know, and it's just, I just yeah. I like Sang. I like 
fuck's fuck's sake, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy, man. For real. Got a lot of sauce that one still. We'll give Eris the Hades thing. Obviously, it's not a good. Oh, Cetrin one has no slots. That's crazy. Okay, so it does go past six slots. That one's got a whole seven slots. So maybe we do get eight slots in this game. Man, fuck this shit. I'm out, bro. Oh, wait. One of them doesn't even have no fucking thing. Don't. Come on. Spare us. In fact, you know what? Let me watch this cutscene. Because I do like saying stuff. I like saying an Eleanor. So let's just see what they got to say. stand now we're talking you saw the flags outside didn't you the promised land belongs to shinra now sorry ancient you snooze you lose i thought there were six. Oh dear did you three get lost three is still greater than two you know and so what if it is between me and sung we got the strength of an army. Spare the ancient. I'll try. <laughs> Spare us from the effort. No! Remember that I tried. She's a lost cause. <laughs> Why don't you? My turn. Ready? 
Man, these boss fights are so just weak, man. Why did that cost two ATV, bro? To do the fucking ward? Is it like a super buffed ward or some shit? What the fuck happened? Anyway. Shit, they're fucking doing a dance off now. Fuck you, Sang. I told you before and I'll tell you again. You stay the fuck out of my way, you stupid ass tech bitches. That gun is kind of cool. It's them! Says Elena dead. She's like under a giant rock right now. You're all okay. Right back at ya. <laughs> We're lucky you didn't crush us. Get it off, Cloud. Fuck these guys. 
Don't be afraid. Stupid ass Elena, bitch. It's not death. It's a homecoming. Smoke these fools. Yeah, fuck you, Elena. <laughs> no, why? Stop. Please. That would have been no lit, bro. Time for this, like you said. One of them's still ahead of us. Right. No time. <laughs> These lot got lucky, bro. If I was writing the script, I mean, if I was writing the script, none of this shit would have even happened. But like, if I was writing the script, or if I was in the room and, and these fuckers were writing this nonsense, and they were there, I'd be like, no, 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 you're fucking killing her. I'd be like, you ain't coming this far and not killing Eleanor, bro. Fuck that bitch. Get her. Death doesn't suit a Turk. The fuck? What's all that about? Oh my god, we're still in this piece of shit dungeon, bro. For real. So it's this phase six. This is phase six of the dungeon. Again, another another chapter that is not my favorite in the original because it's kind of janky even in the original, but still completely different to this. But yeah, much more much much more enjoyable in the original still. And again, like I said, like you don't, it's it's just a dungeon. It's just like all of these stages, like none of them are, none of them feel like locations. They all just feel like dungeons. All kind of feel the same, you know. When are these guys gonna just fucking pull up on Cloud and be like, Cloud, you're such an asshole, bro. What's wrong with you? Stop acting like such a fucking guy. And then realize that he's batshit insane. Like and then maze. like do something about it. Remnants of battle. It's not a temple. It's a fortress. To defend against what though? Fiends? Worse. Humans. Humans feared and coveted the power of the ancients. And so they slaughtered them. Sephiroth. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's not death. It's a homecoming. You'll see him soon enough. Is that Rose. not you stupid asshole I'm sorry but I don't think it is of course figures <laughs> always did take my word for it <laughs> I never hated you you know that's kind of, this is a kind of strange scene because like in the original he comes across as much more cool in this he really comes across as like malicious and evil especially in part well not so much in this one more in remake where are you going got a report to make Aerith, I need you
What's it say? O oh, warrior, weary though thou art, inward must thou now turn. Oh, they're gonna have the memory flashback. On thy long and bloody path, and kindle life's fire anew. Heard Forget about not thine ire, sequence. for it shall remake thee. Sorta. Of. We're each supposed to face some kind of trial. I guess you get to sit this one out. <sighs> Typical. I'll wait out here. But make it quick. Well, no point delaying the inevitable. Right. See you on the other side. This is phase seven of the dungeon. What is this? Why did they make Red Wolf on the wolves like that, bro? It's so like stupid that? looking. And like, what is that glowing green stuff like? As to why he can walk on it. And does that shit only grow this in the, the Gi caves or does it grow everywhere? Like what was, did you see that guy's position on the dog? That guy was like fucking thrusting on the dog, bro. Oh no, it just looked like he was. He wasn't actually thrusting. It was just like a fucked up angle. Damn, this game's fucked up, bro. What? Easy now. That is a valuable specimen. It must be handled with the utmost care. More slow time events, huh? So right, I've done these before. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not gonna fail. I'm really good at these now. Fuck yeah! Do you see the way I held that L2, bro? Fucking shit's not easy, bro. Trust me. Oh shit, we gotta hold them both now. Fuck, bros. I don't even know. No, no, we did it, we did it, we did it. I wasn't sure there, you know. I wasn't sure if we was gonna make it that time. Ah, uh, we gotta do it again. Bro, you know how difficult it was to do it the first time?
This is the worst game I've ever played in my entire life, yeah, hands down. Like in the last episode, I was kind of debating it and trying to f decide and figure, there's no competition. This is the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. Without a doubt, this is it. This is the worst game I've ever played. Make sure he's strapped down tight. Look, such a fine red coat. A rare specimen for my lucky 13th test. That's it. Henceforth, you shall be red 13. Shall we then? Let's just save that, so we have proof. Let's just save that, so we have proof. Yeah. This is horrible, man. I don't want to watch this fucking bullshit, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit, man? For real. What did they just do to Red, bro? Nah, man. Not like this, bro. Not like these. Not like these. Oh shit, she's young Tifa. Phase eight, huh? Cloud? Oh, we can't sprint no more. We can only fast walk. Damn, what's wrong with this fucking animation? Her hair looks, this looks fucked up, man. Why is her hair doing that? Why does she have a bald spot? What the fuck was that? That was hilarious, bro. The Mayu. I'm sorry, man. This game's just. The Mayu? Either way, what up, boy, Serpent? You better come and keep me company. Do you remember when I was like, so what should we do? Should we do this or should we do that? And you was like, no, no, we gotta do this. And I was like, all right, all right, we'll do this. So we're on the chapter before the last chapter, and bro, I just... it's the worst game I've ever played in my life. Look at this. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you appreciate the humor. Yeah man, this game's fucked bro. Look at this bullshit, look. So all you do is you just sit here and watch and now you hold R2 and you sit here and watch. And you watch a bit more and you watch a bit more. 
And you watch a bit more. And you watch a bit more. And then you wait. And then you hold L2. And you gotta hold it. Pretty tough, it's difficult. You should have seen it when this was live. This part live is really funny, bro. I'm like narrating it. And I'm just like, and you gotta do this and it's so difficult, Ooh, bro. This is the shit they just had me doing, bro. The worst game I've ever played in my life. The Mio. I, I don't know it. Nah, bro. He said it's a handheld console, yeah. Is it good? What does it play? Like PC games or some shit. Man, her fingers are not attached to her hand. This game is so cheap, bro. Soldiers. They didn't even put effort into half of this shit. Shinra. I'm sick of this. So am I, Tifa. So am I. I'm sick of this shit. I don't even care about this shit anymore. Just fuck your whole shit. Okay, so you use the Miu to do emulations. That's cool. Can it emulate whole consoles or is it like a handheld emulator? Yeah, I thought that they would reference him in the game and here he is getting referenced. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw the message, bro. Emulators. I'm gonna look a, li uh, a bit closer later. But yeah, I was wondering if it emulates like PS1, PS2, or if it emulates like Game Boys and PSPs. Like if it's for, if it's for, if it's a handheld emulator, or if it emulates consoles, uh, <laughs> consoles, or if it emulates consoles but in like a handheld thing. Cool, I see you when you get back, bro. Nice one. I 
I wish these were just cutscenes and we didn't have to play them, man. guy zero pixels bro zero pixels I'm trying to get a picture of them standing next to each other Starting to lose your excitement for the game now. Huh. Huh. I remember back in chapter three when I said that shit, bro, and I was ready to put on near automata. Do you remember? And you were like, nah, let's see this game. We're playing it to the fucking end, bro. That's what the fuck we do. We're in chapter 13 now, bro. Murder! Like you said, we come this far. We might as well finish it, dog. But yeah, no, no, this is a fucked up game. Like, this game's not even worth playing once. I guess maybe it is worth playing once just so you can see how finished Square Enix is. Not just Square Enix, Final Fantasy. The Final Fantasy franchise dies with this game you, for me. It, it dies. You went from Final Fantasy 15, which was trash, to Remake, which was trash, to 16, which I haven't played it, but people say it's trash, to this, which is the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. So it's like... And the last good game they made was Final Fantasy X. And that one came out in like the year 2000, I think. That's like 25 years of shit games, bro. Like... Out of my way. And, and they fucked up the FF7 remake. Like, when you, when you make FF7... When you make Final Fantasy VII bad... That's when you know your shit. Like, your whole series is shit. Final Fantasy shit, man. It's just shit. It's not a good series, like... Back in the day, it was it had some classics, and for a long time, those classics were, were good enough to kind of keep the name afloat, even though they had been putting out shit games for a long time. But at this point, it's been too many shit games too consistently for too long. Do you get me? Um, they, they're shit. Final Fantasy is not a good game, bro. It had a few good games back in the day, but it's not good anymore. And on average, the game's been bad longer than it's been good. Do you get what I mean? Like, it was good for like a short period of time. Once upon a time, there was like a small window where they had some good games. But like for the majority of, of modern history, Stop for the majority of my lifetime, they've been shit back to back to back. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy event, but I'm pretty sure with this game, this cements it, nail in the coffin, like, it's fucking signed, sealed, delivered, stamped. Final Fantasy is a bad series. It's a bad video game. It's it's bad. It's not good. It's, it's shit. It's, going to be it's trash. Okay. okay. There are a few gems if you go far, far back in the history. But 
outside of those gems it's shit it's just a shit um the whole thing is just shit see gameplay right now look around move the right analog stick and look around that's what they want me to do right now this is a joke man what if what if we went on an adventure an adventure this is the only one that's cool because you get this heiress flashback with her mum this look around thing is taken from they stole this from Ghost to Tsushima. Damn, she talks all this shit and then she just dies at the train station. Don't worry, Eris. We'll go somewhere far away together. Wow, she looks scary as shit, bro. This is the most boring end game content I've ever played, man. I've never played no end game content this whack. Can you help me? <laughs> Thank God. Uh, These should all just be cutscenes. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of bullshit is this, bro? Who, who, people don't even behave like that in real life. Like, people don't treat kids like that. And women typically don't laugh at kids like that. Like, women love kids because it's like... I mean, all of us do, but it's like, it's, it's fucking programmed into us okay? to like, be like, oh shit, you fell over, are you okay? Yeah, exactly. What a bunch of fucking lies. I'm fine. 
Ares pulls up at the train station and her mother's dying and nobody wants to help. What a fucking load of nonsense, I'm bro. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't know. I'm not from this part of town. Oh, okay. I could help you look, but... No, thank you. have to go. I don't want to leave my mom alone too long. Your mother? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mommy. I tried. This fucking sucks, man. This is so depressing, bro. Like, it's cool backstory, but like, it, it doesn't help that the game itself is so depressing. Like, I'm so just like, just like, just, just fried right now. And then they're finally hitting me with some good shit, and it's just the, the most depressing fucking thing you could imagine. It's really, so funny. Really tried. Fuck, man. This is so painful to have to play, bro. I would have appreciated a cutscene, man. This is a really, really, really good scene, but the game's just kind of broken me. Like, I just... It's not safe here. It just hit me over the head so hard for so long with so much whack shit. I just, I, I don't really know how to react. But, like, this scene's really good. Mommy! Not to say it wasn't like sad or whatever, but it was quite, it was just the voice acting was quite funny. <laughs> oh, thank God, was that, was that everybody? Are we done? Stay down. Thank God. Bro. Mommy, mommy, I really tried. I'm just trying to clip these because it's like, if I ever want to watch them again, I don't want to have to play this chapter. Because they come right at the end of the chapter. Do you get what I mean? I don't want to have to play the whole chapter just to see them again. I mean, they're probably on available on YouTube or whatever, but like... Nice.
At least I just got them there so I can just click on them and go watch them. Do you get me? Don't have to go on no YouTube. Now I think that deserves a smoke break because I was pretty sure we must almost 99.9999% sure that this chapter must be finished at some point soon. What a ridiculously bad game. Who do they think they're bringing on board with this shit, bro? I, 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 I'm, I mean, I'm the one buying it and playing it, but like, I'm really surprised to think like who's, who's playing this, bro? To the end, you know? Who's buying this and playing this to the end? Because I can't, I can't think of a pe I don't know who. Not no kids, not no Zoomers, not no Millennials, not no Boomers. No you one, know, like, no one. If you think about it, life and death are Why just two sides of the same coin. Shut our the bodies fuck may up, disappear Aris. when we die. Let's just get this show on the road, baby. On. Please. We return to the planet, rejoin the life stream, and in time, give rise to new life. In time, yeah. I get it. I really do. Knowing that the people we love aren't really gone, it doesn't make it any easier to let them go. It still hurts. So we can't just think of it as a homecoming. Because it's not that simple. We have all experienced pain. We all have our regrets. What we've done, what's been done to us. So I wonder what's wrong with Cloud. set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can What are you be saying, Water Serpent? Do you think this would have flowed better as a movie? I feel like it would have it's worked better as a film than a game. We carry can make us stronger. But at what cost? What toll does it take? I believe true strength doesn't come from any of that. True strength comes from our ability to forgive. To forge ahead in the hope of making things Yeah, it's right. way different from the game. Would it work better as a film or like a cartoon it or comes something? From ourselves. And like, look how long the cutscenes are. There's hardly any gameplay so in between the, the cutscenes. Not the past. Like the gameplay is just walking around and stuff like that. Like this, the gameplay is not engaging. Do you hear me? Just walking way. around and doing mini games and shit. So it's like you might as well have just made it not a film him. if that's the case. Are you finished? Clock's ticking. Come on. Yeah, and it shut the fuck up, Ares. For real. Like Cloud's acting out of character yeah. right now, but like shut the fuck up, babe. For real. Maybe a three minutes would have done it. Yeah, I just want to capture that just in case I decide to watch her back. In fact, there was little things she was saying I might hear again. There was one thing she said that I missed. The pain and anger we carry. No, it doesn't make you stronger, bro. meditate on that and heal it leave the pain where it is because you don't need to carry it and just learn and move forward Barrett was saying that in the other game he was like hold on to this I think it might be a mistranslation she's like hold on to this anger you know that's what he says to Tifa that's what he says sorry Becky you know it's gonna make you strong and I was like nah bro why are you holding on to anger let that shit go bro it's just bad for your health it's not good for you
One second, you don't hold up. Sorry about that. We're back in business. Let me put the camera back on. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. All those lives cut short at your hand. Cakes? Oh, he's guilt tripping Cloud. This chap, these these final chat, I was right. I, like I had this theory when we got to around chapter nine, chapter ten. I remember saying like, because the ending hadn't kicked in whatsoever, there was no hype, no narrative, no nothing. I remember saying like, wow, I bet the last three chapters are just super duper long. Do you get what I mean? And they are. I think the last chapter. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're like. Where we on now? Thirteen. I think chapter 11 and 12 took us a long time. I think they were like six hours each. This chapter is working out to be about six hours. I think the next hours of the chapter is going to be about the same. Most your of its cutscenes though. Died in your arms, and you didn't shed a tear. What is that? Sephiroth. What best friends did they just show? He said, that's what he said, right? Your best friend. Talks about Jesse. Or Tifa. Your friend died oh, your arms. friend. Just your any friend. Boy, it was the best friend. Sorrow. Yeah, this is digital Anger. download. Regret. Guilt. Nothing but empty words to you. For you are but a puppet, my puppet. And I'll kill you. These guys should have turned on Cloud from when he attacked Tifa. I'm not like him. I'll never be like him. They're all watching him now, looking at him with the funny expressions like, whoa. But like, when he attacked Tifa, everyone you know, was cool. It's okay. 
Shit, this motherfucker should have known from back then. Come on. Right. Hey, this cloud is not our cloud, bro. This is some bitch made cloud. Out here on some soft thing. Trying to kill Tifa and shit. Crazy. Our cloud really held it down, like. He wigged out a few times here and there, but he held it down. try and make like a permanent set that you don't have to keep swapping. to give all of those to Barrett. <laughs> I gave Barrett into Cloud and Tifa by accident. Click, quick clicking. Oh shit, we're going the wrong fucking way. I think that's part of the reason why I don't enjoy fighting as well when I'm in the dungeons is because mad times when I fight, once the fight's finished, I, I like lose, you lose kind of track of where you are. It's easy to run off in the wrong direction. Oh, thank God they didn't respawn. That's happened to me before. And then you can't go through the door again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh snap, we got some Fuma Shuriken. That's cool. Meow. The cat come in going meow meow. She's meowing down the whole place. Alright, that looks like the proper way. Let's have a look down that little corridor again just to make sure we didn't miss nothing. It's like a chest room, and we'll go that way later. Oh, I forgot to set up the materials again. Alright, let's see if we can set something up. That's a bit more like, so we don't have to do so much moving around all the time. Yeah, so let's put the heels and the revives back where they used to be.
Let's see, you got heal, heal, heal. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so now everyone's got a heal. All right, cool. We'll give Barrett an auto cast on that too. Then the green ones can go over here. And the purple ones will go at the end, like back in the day. Yeah. And so what do you want? We'll put the purple ones in the armor. Put the purple ones on the edge first, and then we'll put the purple ones in the armor. Yeah, cool. And so, what are the clutch ones you want? Luck up goes to Tifa, and we'll just leave that on Tifa all the time. Cool. Then you got the HP ups, so the steadfast block. They're, they're going to be getting swapped around. So let's put those on the end. And that's the, yeah, and then Auto Unique can go next to Steadfast Blocks though. Yeah, Steadfast Auto Unique, Steadfast Auto Unique. And what else do we have? Yeah, the two lock ups, Precision Defense. Keep one on Cloud and we'll give one to Tifa. Maybe we give one to Barrett. And what are these? Her luck ups. Alright, cool. Then what else can she have? Attack, magic attack, HP, MP, steel, level boost. We give her an AP up. Yeah. Yeah, and raise up the luck up. Yeah, cool. All right, so Tifa's got a nice set. Barrett's got a nice set as well. starting to look like something. Yeah, I like this bravery spell. I think it's kind of cool still. Like the idea of it, it kind of makes sense. Right, so then now that you've done that, what have you got left to sort these guys out with? Let's give Eris some shit. Fire, ice, lightning, wind. Yeah, barrier. So it says, 
We'll give Yuffie an assist. Give him an assist. Is that Chakra? Yeah, we'll give Yuffie a Chakra. But we'll put them over here. Okay, cool. Just load her up with all the shit. Cool. Then we'll give him the subversion. I mean the empowerment. We'll give him the breach as well. Oh shit, now we'll give that to Yuffie. And then the rest can just chill. It's that level boost material. Nah, fuck all of that. Yeah, for now we can just roll like this, I reckon. It's better than what it was before. At least it's a bit more like structured. On you. That that ATV charge rate up thing that Barrett has is fucking banging, bro. Said so you get hungry at night, yeah. People say it's not good to eat at this time. No, it's better to eat earlier. I think the best time to eat is meant to be like between 12 and 3 because that's the middle of the day. So your body's got a lot of energy to digest the food. The later you eat, the less energy your body has to digest it. And then you go to sleep. And when you're sleeping, your body's not, you're not meant to be digesting food. It's trying to do other, other things. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it has to regulate you while you sleep or whatever. So that's why if you eat food late in the night, you wake up feeling kind of fucked because your body, for one, doesn't get to rest properly because it's too busy digesting the food. And for two, the food doesn't get digested properly. 
because um, your your body was resting at the same time. Do you hear me? So that like, you wake up and your stomach feels kind of fucked up and you feel kind of fucked up. And I think it's bad for your weight as well. But yeah, yeah, it's best to eat it in, in like the early to mid afternoon, like your main meal of the day. Yeah, yeah, the food just sits there because your, your, your belly's not, like, when you're awake, your belly's charged up and ready to digest. When you're sleeping, your body's like not really doing much with it. Do you get what I mean? Saying a cat cam, yeah? I think it was it was hard enough setting up the setting up the stoner cam, but yeah, a cat cam probably would be six though. But then again, before long they'll be up about running around. They won't even be settled down. They'll just be running around doing crazy shit. Or maybe I could just like leave it on their bowl or something. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong fucking way. Fuck, man. It's fucking game, bro. It's because I wasn't paying attention to my environment. But yeah, in this game, it's like, this is a reoccurring theme. Like, you'll be trying to go around a dungeon and it's just not very clear what way you're supposed to be going. So what phase is this? This is like what phase phase 12 of this dungeon? Phase 11 of this dungeon? This dungeon has so many phases to it, bro. And none of them are fun. Yeah, see, both times I went through the boss fight, I walked out through the wrong door. It's a turtle. I don't want to kill it. Deal with that. Why is Cloud over there swinging his sword at the wall, bro? They still didn't fix that from the last game.
Yeah, this dungeon, again, it just doesn't feel like Final Fantasy VII when you're exploring this dungeon. It just feels like a different game. It doesn't even feel like Final Fantasy, to be honest. Like, any, it just feels like, a, like not even a Final Fantasy game. It just feels like uh, some any open world hack and slash. Maybe these guys should have just stuck to turn-based and just tried to experiment with it and come up with ways to make it more fun. Or like to, to modernize it. I think it would have been cool to keep it turn-based and just make it super cinematic. To just make like all of the movements super cinematic, make it look so sick to watch. But just have it be turn-based. Like maybe just get rid of the bars, you know the bars that fill up, just get rid of it and just make it that you always have a turn. And after you take three turns, the boss takes a turn or something like that. Do you get me? Graham should kill to see this. So there's no like wait time. temple itself is the black materia, isn't it? Oh, are these the Cetra come to fight us? Oh, this is a flashback of the, of the humans fighting the Cetra. why it sounded so wet. I've been listening to the TV speakers this whole time. I finally put the good speakers back on. Let's watch that back and see what them Cetras had to say. Okay, they're talking about modern day. All right, so that's what we saw. Check that what she said. 
getting lore on the ancients, huh? But I mean, there's this lore. This lore doesn't really count because it's a different dimension. Crazy. But I mean, it's not really crazy. It's kind of like some fan fiction shit, but like, yeah. I'm breaking all these rocks because I'm. They conditioned me with that Aeris part of the run where you have to break the rocks to farm the the live stream energy. I was. I just remembered that part where Aeris killed that monster so that she could harvest this live stream energy as well. That was pretty intense. Yeah, so 10 minutes is, a bit, is enough stuff. We'll just take a 10 minute video. They don't have no 10 minute videos, that sucks. We'd be good if they did still. So either way, let's see what, let's see what she had to say. Damn, so all the Cetra got killed by the ancient, by Genova basically. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, so they went out to fight Genova and they all died. Crazy shit. Okay. They're hitting us with some lore, huh? Soon we're gonna run out of um, storage space. Thus did it fall into a deep slumber, and in the long silence of its sleep, it was given the name Genova. Heed well our warning of that which is to come. The reunion, when our adversaries scatter malignancy, shall oh, be shit. to plague the planet once more. The reunion. Hold on, I'm just watching back sign on the phone quick. So you only need really need one minute. Sorry, I was tripping that video was way too long. The reunion, baby. Okay. So reunion is just yeah. So she's basically just telling us about reunion. Genova just gathering her shit together. All right. So I guess it's nothing we didn't know before. It would have been nice to have like a proper cutscene, you know. Why is this trash mob so strong? Is it meant to be a boss or something? Thing backed into a corner, boy. Thank you. 
The meteor shall fall, sundering the skies and shattering the earth. All life shall perish. Yet I shall remain. I, son of Genova, will at last claim my birthright. My dominion shall reach into infinity. It shall encompass worlds unbound by fate, and histories unwritten. What do you mean? My fragmented mother. These errant worlds. All shall be one again. The reunion. All made whole. Forever. There's no such thing as forever. Ah. But there will be. No. You're wrong. <laughs> Your day of reckoning is here. Yet, you need not be afraid. <laughs> Is this even how Sephiroth talks? They, the characters in this game feel mad different from um, how they felt in Remake. They feel like different characters. Alright, so they've got the Demon's Gate. It's too little too late, man. It's cool to see him though, but it's too little too late, bro. Mad law right now though. Those who they who came from without. Are they saying that they're like aliens or some shit? What does she mean by that? So I wonder who the gee are. Who the fuck are the gee, bro? Now they've really gone and opened the whole can of worms because they said that the gee are the ones who created the black material. I mean, fuck all of that shit. Because now you have to explain the gi, and they're never going to get around to doing that, so I'm out, bro. I always just kind of felt like the black materia and the holy materia were just things that naturally existed, and I was happy with that. My bad. Let's go on a uh, smoke break. So what, does he just like disappear? just disappear well that law that they gave us was pretty interesting and cool it would have been more cool if this was the same dimension that we're used to but like that law was still cool but yeah it's a shame because you can't do nothing with that law because it's a different dimension so it's kind of like eh. smoking down quick. This was a long episode, so we deserve it, I reckon. We should be at the end of the dungeon now. Let's 
grow. I might just turn it down a little bit. It's quite late. Hold on. Alright, let's go. Say no more, bro. Did you get that crazy lore dump about the um, the ancients? That's pretty cool. That's that's like basically more lore than we get in the entire of the original game. But like I said, it's just like the only unfortunate thing is just that it's um it's for this dimension, not for the one we're familiar with. But yeah, you take care, bro. Take care. Have a good night. Rest up easy. You never know. Maybe I would have beaten this game by tomorrow, but I doubt it. Though I'm probably gonna beat it after this mission and do the last chapter tomorrow. Probably something like that makes is more realistic. Cause these chapters are long as shit, bro. But yeah, take care, man. I'll catch you in the next one, man. Peace. Mm -hmm. Barrett's got one MP. That's so funny. Uh... Oh, we're gonna die if we're, if we're not careful because this boss has got petrified. Finally a good boss. It's just a shame it's right at the fucking end of the game behind the fucking six hour fucking quest. Let me through. 
You see Yuffie punching Barrett a minute ago, that was jokes. Wow, Cloud shredded that thing. He's wigging out. Oh, okay, but yeah, exactly. Let's get me the fuck out of this dungeon, Cloud. Thank you. Thank you, Cloud. He must represent the player. He must represent the frustrations of the player. No more knows what he's doing, you know. People might think that this is all an accident or this is all by mistake or, you know, it's shit by whatever. Nah, they're doing this on purpose. He knows what he's doing. He's intentionally making it shit. And there's certain parts of the game where you can see it's like it shows reference to the to the player. Do you get what I mean? Like the, like the game references it knows that the player is pissed. It's, it's crazy shit. Yeah, I'm never playing another Final Fantasy game again, bro. The Bahamut materia is locked behind Chadley's research. Are you fucking dumb? How is he running so fast now? He was so slow when I was using him on that side quest. I mean, on that main quest, low. How come everything started shaking? Let those who seek our star's demise find herein their rest. If the black materia is removed, the whole place comes down. Uh, you're kidding, right? Please tell me that you're kidding! Calm down. We just have to return it to the altar. Let go! You first, kid! It's too late! We can't stop it now! Besides, there's no point fighting over a fake! Why didn't the whole game feel like this? Still 
with us? What do you mean, bro? He's long gone, bro. Cloud hasn't been present for this like this entire Let's fucking go. game. We've been stuck with Edge Lord Cloud. So fucked up that Vincent's running with us, but we can't use him. Wow, he looks so bad. Probably they know he's not in the game because probably his animations are unfinished. They probably look bad. Oh, she's running by herself. You know what's crazy? The whole time I was holding the, moving the stick forward, but she was running by herself. I didn't even have to push anything. I let go at the end and she was just running by herself. Yeah, even though he was a bot, Cat Sif's sacrifice was always lit. Like, it was always a wild moment. It was just like, whoa. Yeah, they did a good job in this one, still. I just wish the whole game was as good as, like, the last 15 minutes. Now that's not a sight you see every day, eh? Hey? Jeez, what up, Cassif? We saw you. If I bought my clogs, they'd be sobbing in the streets at the saucer. This beautiful body's but one of many. <laughs> Just like these timelines, huh? One of many. <laughs> all right, knock them off you. <laughs> so, y'all get what you were after? the room, dude. Like, come on. Hey, what's gotten into you? Didn't you hear what Aerith said? That's mine. Fine. Fetch. This is the key. 
Is this really Which happening? Grants access to the true counterpart hidden between worlds. Give it back! Whoa. Oh my god. Did Barrett really just throw the orb on the floor and Sephiroth was there and he picked it up? At last, the time This is has a meme. Come. This has to be a meme. Yeah, he can just summon the whispers now. Man, these frame rates are horrendous. The black materia. What in the world is going on? <laughs> Could it be? Has it finally begun? <laughs> Oh, that's gross. That's right. We're losing altitude, sir. And fast. Get us clear. Trying to turn the camera around so I can see what everyone else is doing. Why aren't they stopping him? That's totally what they should be doing. Oh my god, those whispers are just disappearing. They're just disappearing. This shit is so cheap. It's so cheap, man. trace out for the kittens but the mummy cat was gonna go and use it i was like no no the door's open baby you wanna go garden right there i don't need no big cat toilet wow they're fully like clipping out of frame in the cutscene. that's crazy good job tifa i think he's gonna pick it up anyway oh good eris got it In the original, there's no one there to stop Cloud, and he just ends up giving it up. The rest of the homies are like incapacitated by Sephiroth's magic. Materia seems less important now as well, now that we know that it was created by the, the Gi. Yeah, so he's in control of the Whispers now and he's using them to help create the timeline that he wants to happen.
Did somebody laugh? Did, did Cloud laugh or was it Sephiroth? Am I just hearing um, like the footsteps or something? Yeah, he is laughing. Damn. They could have done it. They could have made Crazy Cloud a bit better. Like, I feel like the way they've done Crazy Cloud, it kind of just makes you hate him. Please. You can trust me. Let's see. Aaron. Nah, they 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 should have done done Crazy Cloud differently, man. Instead of making, he's very unlikable. I don't like this, but this Cloud. I legit don't like him anymore after this game. After watching him attack Tifa and now watching him chase down Eris and bully her in this way, like, I just, I don't like him. He's just a piece of shit. He's a fucking asshole, man. Fuck this guy. He's super unlikable. They're killing these characters, man. Whatever happens. Why don't the homies just attack Sephiroth? It's not like we haven't done that before. Like all the homies just pull up and attack him before he's able to do this to them. Thank God that chapter's over. It must be over now, right? Almost there. on Linux. Right, let me um explain the phenomenon. There was something I wanted to hear on that that plane ride, but I missed it, so I just want to hear it back. Would you explain the phenomenon we witnessed? In no. The men Yeah, that's it. I wanted to hear what you were saying about Sung or Seng. He wants Seng, yeah. He wants to take him for experiments. Low. Yeah, he wants to do experiments on him. No. The medical team will see that. I think you have enough material. 
real. So yeah, Roshi's gonna come back on some OP shit. HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Sorry, one more question. Does Aerith... Does she have feelings for Cloud? Wow. Yeah, she likes him. It's pretty deep. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. Because <laughs> you that? weren't there. <laughs> yeah, but now that Zach's there, shit will probably be different. Just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you? Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? Take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Hmm? As I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? So this is Cloud from Zack's dimension, yeah? Yeah, this is Cloud and Zack and Eris. Can all go poly and have freeways. Like, just like the X-Men. Hey, I wonder if the writers be like on. shipping them and shit. Wait, isn't Eris dead in Zack's reality? What the fuck? Ta-da! Can I have one? Can I, can I, can I? Please? So maybe this is just our Eris and Which ours one Cloud. Which you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? 
I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free, but remember, it's one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> That one. Ah, I'm so sorry. I meant everything but that one. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. Perfect, even. <laughs> you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. <laughs> now, where to next? <gasps> that way. Come on. It's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. I'll take one this of is those. the final chapter. Then I'll have one of those. Literally looks like we're in chapter right. two right now. Mm. Though these aren't the only treats I've got, you know. Some real Kingdom How Hearts, um, Twilight Town vibes right now. My latest creation. Even with the music. Really? Let's try it. Sure. Go on, enjoy. I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. If only we all had more time, am I right? Oh, so maybe Zack did die, and this Pretty is like sure some kind of um, Professor Hojo. Hell Dimension. Not a whole platoon. What's it called? Purgatory. Whatever. The world's about to end anyway. Got nothing to lose, and everything to gain. Coming through, boys! So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> Sorry folks. I've only got one shot left. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <gasps> okay. Um. 
how about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. <laughs> 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 the other guys don't even have the pixels, bro. No. Okay, you two. Smile real big for the camera now. Busted? Seems it's all out of Mako. I'm still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the live stream's bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. <clears throat> and so are we. Run! <laughs> 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 Fool. Bomb was a dud. Did he find out? Uh, that it? Bomb barely made it through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're not useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning. It doesn't mean shit. Well, that's where you're wrong. Want to know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. Thanks, but... Why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind, I know. Kind of obvious now I think about it. World may be ending and all, but a bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it, too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. Some of these cutscenes are like know. the same length I as just, like a full fucking episode of I like a cartoon or some action. shit. Take charge. Yeah, you could watch a whole episode of Bleach. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world, was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. sense of humor. And I'm always the punchline. But I'm sick of taking it shit! This is my life. I make the rules. Ah! See you never! Why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. 
What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask. Hmm. It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the playground. I do like it over there. Cloud. Biggs. Big. Or Aerith. <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to choose? There's a, if there's a different Sephiroth in each timeline and the three Sephiroths like team up, then all the heroes are finished. It was all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? Well, it isn't over yet. <sighs> This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. Oh, it's not the playground, it's the church, yeah? I oh, told you cool. it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now where you and I stand, I mean. The thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Thank you. Sorry. I'll be okay. So this is the this is the new version of the dream that he has. Before he leaves to go and find her. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me though. It's about saving the world, and you. Mm. 
so thank you, Cloud, for everything. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's shit. So in Zack's timeline, that's how Ares dies. So like when you make different choices, new times of timelines are born out of those choices. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. In the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Pretty sure this entire chapter has been like longer than a, than an anime episode already. Perhaps you need a little push. <laughs> I give you. My blessing. Another wormhole. Another pool. Crazy. Just like the last game. Oh, so we don't even travel here. We just wake up here. <laughs> the game was like, yeah, fuck all that. Let's just teleport the player. 
That doesn't belong here. Very poor form. All of our shit run. We only can press square right now. save that's so crazy because i'm like i wonder if i can just save and come back tomorrow but anytime you get to the last mission yeah normally in a game you're so hyped you just stay up all night and just finish it but i'm like nah i'll get some sleep i'll finish this tomorrow won't even let me save Supposed to be, bro. This is the bit that I remember. This is classic. Okay. This is super classic. This Sephiroth's part. Here. I can feel him. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be classic now, but like it was classic back back in the day. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. Sorry about bumping the mic. We're just partying hard. And I'm the last. Is it sexy 3 a.m.? Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. But now, it belongs with you. So she, like, she gives it to him in one dimension so that she can receive it in another dimension. That's crazy. But it's lost its power because they killed the whispers.
come back. We still can't see it. Damn, son. I'm just looking to see that I've got it so that I can watch it back tomorrow if I want. Because I'm fucking tired, man. I might just go to sleep. Cool, so at least we've got all of that. So we can just catch up tomorrow if we want. Yeah, let's just leave this pause right here. And we can watch those cutscenes next stream if we want. I'm going to have a quick look through them now. Because then we can maybe just favorite the ones that we need or whatever. So that can be a favorites. Yeah, and that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> Man, it's true. This shit was whack. All right, cool. Oh, little Barrett and the pixel this guy. Look how many pixels Barrett has, and look how like how few pixels that guy has. That guy has no pixels compared to Barrett. Like zero pixels. Right, so yeah, little 15 minute cutscene. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That will do us good for the beginning of next episode. Oh, the, the cutscene's not 15 minutes. You get like five minutes of running around in the forest. <laughs> Man, I wonder. See, part of me does just want to kind of walk forward because maybe we're finished. Maybe we can just finish the game. But then again, nah, nah, that's madness. It's going to be hours and hours of cutscenes. All right, cool. Let me call it a night. I'm fucking super tired. I'm smoked. This has been a good old stream. It's like six, seven hours now. Yeah, man. Let's call it a night. We had a nice old stream earlier as well. Good four hours or so. We're going to finish this final episode tomorrow. And then at least we get one episode. It's just got the ending in locked in tight. Do you hear me? I think that's cool. Um, yeah, man. I'm sure there's more to say, but I'm fucking smoked. Hype and describe. You go on the YouTube, there's a bunch of links in the description. You can go and check those out. I'm going to make a telegram for the channel over the next couple of days and weeks or so. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. You lot stay lit. Make sure you um, hit notifications if you want to fucking stay tuned for the next stream because I don't have a schedule. I just go live whenever I'm feeling like it. But, yeah, make sure you sub, hit the notes and all of that shit. And make sure you stay lit and have a good time and enjoy your life. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Nothing but money on my mind She says she love me, love is blind She ride it up and down and then rewind When we fuck, it gets better every time I got two bad bitches by my side I tell my ups don't even try Anytime I lift, I let it fly Come down and put two spirits in the sky Hit your block and put some spirits on the floor Niggas know I got a lot, but I need more. Nowadays, all my guap is kept offshore. Stash box, I got a couple keys of raw. Whoa, the weed is Arabian. Burning it down like a Sabian. I'm coming down to the stadium. Rolling with angels and aliens. There's only real ones in my radius. Everyone here know my alias. I'm coming down to the stadiums. Rolling with angels and aliens. She take it straight to the face. Laughing all of the way to the bank. Pardon, I take it straight to the face. Pull up and parking. Jump out the spaceship, step over your carcass When you look around you see killers and carnage My niggas is Martians, yeah we live and die by the stardom Even when we're in the darkness, you know we stay lit regardless All of your bitches they love me, all of your hatred is harmless Only the gods can judge me, yeah Even when we're in the darkness, you know we stay lit regardless All of your bitches they love me, all of your hating is harmless